And yell at Will Wani. It's been a weekend. I I don't want to talk about it. Let us not think about the things that have happened. Let us think about the things that will happen. No, actually, that's worse. You know what? That's that's worse. I I take it back. I don't want to think about it. Let's let's just let's just get to the part where the game loads and I can do stuff. All right, we will be in the content server. I forgot. Hi, content server. Uh, no run messages, sub stories. Gaming, yes, gaming. So, so special. Oh wait, this is the curio ones. Okay. What's the religion called again? Okay, so we have that, and there's the doll girl, which... I talked to her once, and then nothing happened. Let's see. I'm supposed to go back to my apartment. But uh, I don't want to do that. So, uh... Let's see. That's for... I'm guessing that's for the uh, silly little um, silly little um, you know, yeah, there they are, the cult thing. Hi, cult people. Oh no, I'm gonna have to deal with cult people. Wait, before I do that, I forgot that I haven't done anything with my skills. It's time to eat money. Grab the slugger ones. Boop. Yep. Yep. I can't believe I'm just making magic my money. I mean, I can, but also it's silly that I have to make him. What do you mean the second power search is 15 million? Like that? Just out of nowhere? 15 million? I mean, I know that, like, you know, this is... Too, like, what do you mean? 200 million? What the fuck? I know it's yen, and the yen is not that expensive right now, well, depending on where you live. But also, what the fuck, Majima? Actually, I see that, but Majima is probably the one that's gonna have an easier time making money because hostesses i was making so much money on the fucking hostess mini game in kiwami 2 this game is probably just like that in that respect anyway call people huh? those pajama freaks are in the call that yuri chan joined i gotta join them to help out her mom like a good content server hi bitches Hi, excuse me. Yes, do you seek something from us? To meet Yuri Chan, I gotta get into this cult. But first, I gotta act like I really wanna join. You. Um. It was Onas, wasn't it? It was Order of Moon and Toheb On. Like, I can't believe that now I have to remember. Yeah, no, it has to be because uh, it was Moonan, not n n like Moonan is the one that is a title. Macho Chetty Forest, that's a good one. <laughs> I like that, that's a good one. No. I want to join the Order of Moonan Koheb Honest. You have come to embrace the divine magnif magnificence of Moonan Koheb Honest. Do you wish to become chosen? Yeah. Absolutely, I do. Moon and Chohep is where it's at. Majima, please. <laughs> Glory be. I can see you will be my most excellent disciple already. Right this way, please. 
Time to beat up a bunch of people dressed in pajamas. Alright. Why do they come up with this shit anyway? I mean... You have to believe in something, Majima. Sometimes you have to believe in something. Thank you for committing yourself to our path. May I have your name, please? I'm Majima, Goro Majima, and I'm gonna kick your ass later. Ah, brother Majima, honest for, honest for informing me. Now let's have you... Whoa, hold up a sec. You just threw that psycho bubble at me like I was supposed to know what it meant. Oh, honest is a word we use to express the feeling of gratitude and appreciation. Huh, we already have a word for that, but honest to you too. As I was going to say, Brother Majima, we will have you observe a portion of our activities today. Yay! I get to watch stuff happen. You must observe with purpose. It is the first part of your training to observe our doctrine. That will be a test at the end as a measure of your faith. And that is where I fail, probably. At least it ain't a pop quiz. Gotcha. No, it's multiple choice, Majima. Technically, it's multiple choice, because I'm the one choosing. You know, it's funny being in a side so, in a, so, in a sub story with a with a cult because I've been listening to these podcasts behind the ma the bastards for a while, and half of their episodes are about cults. Well, maybe not half, maybe like one fourth. And oh boy, a lot of cults are very horny, and by very horny, I mostly mean the people in power in those cults are really just using it for sex. And another time we don't reach people. It's pretty bad, is what I mean. Cults are bad, just saying. Well, shall we be? Help! Help me! Help! Oof. Hey, what's all that racket? Apologies, brother. He's a debaser. Oh, not again. You must be more careful. We have a new recruit with us here today. Hi. Yes, I will call for a chastening. Eh? Chastening? No, not that. Not a chastening. Have oh, mercy. Whoa, whoa, hold up. The guy's scared shitless. I don't know what's going on, but maybe I could ease up on him. <laughs> Your concerns are unfounded, Brother Majima. That poor soul is wrapped by episodic outbursts of manic behavior. Oh god, this does sound like an episode of Behind the Bastards. Outbursts, huh? Come this way. No, I wanna go home. Please pay not heed. Let us continue. Uh oh, yeah, no, uh, again. I've been listening to way too many episodes of Behind the Bastards. And most of the episode about cults. Boy oh boy, is this um, bringing flashbacks to those podcast episodes. You know, I've been thinking about it and they never did an episode on like Argentina at all. And now I see what's happening and I think, huh. They're probably gonna do an episode on us at some point. God, the Behind the Bastards episodes on cults are really... Like, they did an episode on the Moonies, like this cult. Um... That, um... That, uh... Shinzo Abe was in. Like, like the Japanese parliament, like a lot of people are involved in, in the Moonies. It's insane. Like, like it starts in Korea with this guy who basic like like it's kind of, it's like a weird Christian Korean cult that just develops on this guy thinking that he's like saying that he's basically like the Messiah. And that God tells him things, and that he fights with God about things, and well, he died not so long ago. Um, but like, it's... It's really, like... It's so incredibly fucked up. Also, he got a 15-year-old pregnant. That's a common... 
like situation with like all of the cult episodes in Behind the Bastards. It's like whoever founded that cult probably got a 15 year old or younger pregnant. Like it's way too common. Like, no, no, you don't understand. I put the, the podcast episode of Behind the Bastards, like, on the background just to, like, listen to it. Like, just, just, for the, just for the pleasure of it. It's just like, yeah, I like having people talking in my ear when I work in. Like, I'm writing and I'm just hearing them talk about, like, I don't know, dictators and shit. And every time there is a cult episode, it's like, there's always a sex crime. There's always at least one dead child. There's always... Probably at least one sex crime against a child. So, um, cults are bad. I don't know how to explain that to people. Like, it's re it's really bad. It's it's pretty bad. But yeah, the Moonies are super fucked up. It's it's fucked up. It's it's incredible that I like. It's also kind of funny because like. The Moonies, like, uh, they technically have, like, you know, power with the United States as well. But, like, their entire thing, until, like, I don't know what it's going on right now with, like, um, the daughter of the founder, which, well, his children, technically, both of them are in, in control in different ways. Like, one is in control economically, the daughter is in control, like, of the actual, like, cult itself, and they're both in conflict with each other, which is hilarious. Um, but he wanted to have... The unite like he wanted to have the uh, international community, and this is no joke. Like you can listen on the fucking episode of Behind the Bastards on this. He wanted to 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 have the rest of the international community declare Korea, like South Korea specifically, like God Emperor of the world. Like he wanted some kind of fucked up theocracy where everybody reads like accounts to Korea with him as God Emperor. And I'm just like, dude, isn't it enough to, like, be able to get away with sexually abusing a 15-year-old and getting her pregnant and stealing her child, which is a thing he did, because he didn't want to deal with the fact that he had a sex with a 15-year-old? He was also a Korean spy, for the record. Like, he worked as a Korea, like, like as a spy for the Korean government. I don't know how to explain how fucked up cults are. The Moonies are hilariously fucked up, but in general. God. Whoa, what do you, what do we got here? Is it sex crime? I'm going to assume it's sex crimes. This is our prayer room. It is where we practice Shore BB. Oh, Dub, you just leave that sure a pee pee thing in as if it were the most natural thing in the world. What is it? Ah, but it is. Sure a pee pee is training to, at uh, to attain higher enlightenment in the path of Menan to, to help honors. Okay, sure a pee pee training. Those engaged in sure pee pee here are our last recruits. As a collective, we refer to each other as friends. Question, where do we start with the uh, fucked up orgies? Because that's also part of the calls that I've been seeing. A lot of fucked up orgies. And it's not so much orgies as there is like a gangbang in which the uh, leader of the cult gets to bang everyone else. Usually just women. Sometimes just children. Depends on the cult. I'm sorry, I started with this, and I'm just thinking of every single call episode of Behind the Bastards that I've ever listened to. So that's the kind of commentary we're gonna get from you today. <laughs> Latest recruits, eh? Uh, at least it lost her daughter, Yori-chan. Could be doing this sure pee, pee thing right here. Sure pee, -pee gives them focus. Through concentration, they, accu they accumulate clippers. You guys got a dictionary for all this. What clippers? <sighs> Well, to put it in layman's terms, it can be considered a measure of virtue. As we accumulate clippers, the divine moon and Chohept shall bestow enlightenment and rapture upon us. What? 
Uh huh. <sighs> this is getting so old so fast. Oh, Sister Yuri san, you must uh, sway more. Proper Sherry Pipi is a part of a uh, enlightenment. Hi. Yes, honest for your uh, benevolent guidance. Can you just call her Yuri? Is that her girl? I I'm sorry, I need a minute to, uh, to help steer our friends towards the power of the just. Brother Marima, please feel free to upset. Done, my by do. He's my chance to see if that friend is ogre or Yuri chan. Uh, camera, please. I lower the uh, I, I lower the thing for a reason. No. Hey, sister. This third I can call you Yuri, right? Ignoring me, huh? Yeah, she wants to concentrate on her sure peepee thing. I gotta see if this girl is really Yuri Chan. All I say to her. I had a dumb pun, call her Yuri. And do it when I'm chopped. I mean, I don't think this is gonna work. That's just gonna get me in trouble. And calling her by her name is not gonna work, so. Well, maybe. I don't know. Would it work if I crack a dumb pun? She did respond to the name. Might as well try with her. Let's call her by name and see if that gets a reaction. People can't help responding to their name. They ought to tell me if these guys are these guys are Yuri Chan. You're Yuri Chan, aren't ya? Pardon? How do you know my name? I mean, besides the fact that I just heard from the dude. That I was talking to two seconds ago. Bam! This here is the, that lady's missing daughter. Is she? Yuri is not a weird name. I think. I don't think it's a uncommon name in Japanese. Yuri chan, listen up. I got a message from your mom. My mom? Yeah, she asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. M mother. M mother. Mother, 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 mother. That's kind of um. Is that Yuri? What? Yuri chan. <gasps> mother, my head. It hurts. Uh. Hey, what's wrong? Not part of it. Brother Majima, what is going on here? You must not disturb our, dis our disciples in short, baby. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Sister Yuri san, are you well? Mm. Yes, I think so. Brother Majima, please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Our friends are purging memories of family and their worldly ties to attain a spiritual purity. Yeah, this is literally just like an episode of Behind the Bastards. If this was a real call, they would have made an episode about this already. Say what? Purging memories. Mm. Yes, as a rule, our disciples undergo a mental cleansing process so that they may better dedicate themselves to share PP. That's not gonna traumatize them for life or anything. But that's... yeah, kind of fucked up. Ahem. My friends, I ask for your attention. No more share PP for you, bitches. Today, our guru has come to inspire us in our climb to our ever, ever higher states of enlightenment through Shore PP. Ooh. Fuck that guy. Friends, our spiritual leader, Guru Munan Suzuki, who I'm gonna kick the shit out of, and then he's gonna remember it so hard that it's gonna be mentioned in another different game. That it's gonna be a remake of a game that already existed. Oh, that's very shiny floors. Like, look at that shine on the floor. How do they keep them so shiny? My disciples. Menancho. I hate that. You too, brother Majima. Wait, the hell is a moon nacho? <laughs> a moon nacho. I would eat one. 
Monancho is a word of greeting. Incidentally, or word for farewell, it's Hepton. Brother Majima, please. Stay with the pose, just say the word, refuse. <laughs> just say with the pose. Munancho. I can't believe they made him actually record that. Nicely done. Two spirit points awarded. What? Huh? Okay. What is this? A competition or something? Glory be, a most splendid greeter. A uh, greeting. Our savior and master, Munancho Hep, is most pleased. Uh, I had no idea it was physically possible to be this phony. This is actually kind of impressive. So friends, tell me, how much Titherans have you all contributed to the exalted Munancho Hept? I have contributed 5 Rincho. I have done better at 8 Rincho. Titherans is what we call a tithe. Yeah, I assume because the word is right there. You fucking idiot. Uh, okay. I was just about to ask that. So how much is a Rincho worth? 1 Rincho is a hundred thousand yen. I'm going to murder every single person here and steal their money. A hundred thousand? Think that was a kick out that much to the order? It is a process of great, uh, to, a process to greater enlightenment and joy. When one is won by chains of gold, there can be no freedom. Renouncing all possessions is the first step to the rapture. I'll give you some chains of gold, and I will use them to strangle you. No matter how funny it is, I thought it'd be okay if it made people feel better, but damn! Majima, there's a very big difference between religion and cults. And a lot of the times, the difference is money. That's why the Catholic Church is bad. And the Protestant Church, but mostly the Catholic Church. They know what they've done. And wh when I say that, what I mean is that they know that they've covered the entirety of the Vatican in like gold and shit. And fuck that bullshit. It's funny because like my dad's dad, like my granddad on my dad's side, he was, uh, he was in the Navy. He wanted to be in the, uh, he, he wanted to be in a different part of the army. And, and then in that era, you had to like, you know, you have to serve. Like you were obligated, like, like it was legally obli it was a legal obligation. Um, so he just went to the navy instead because he couldn't. He had bad bad eyesight. He wanted to to be a plain. Uh, uh, he he wanted to do with the aviation part of the army, and he actually went to uh, a lot of places in the world. Like he went to Africa. He went to Asia. He actually brought stuff that uh, a lot of it was lost during like a bombing. In the era where they, uh, when he and my grandmother lived decades ago. Like, back when uh, Argentina bombed itself because we were in the middle of a civil conflict. Um, so, because that happened, for the record. Um, so, um... He actually, like, went to the Vatican at one, at one point. And he was never particularly Catholic or, or anything, but like he said that just seeing the state of that building, like shit coated in pure gold and like the marble and everything, it gave him such a disgust that he just couldn't deal with the fucking Catholic Church anymore. Like it was like the thing that finally saw him on that being bullshit. It, and it's hilarious because, um,. Him and my grandmother, I don't remember what the situation was, but she wasn't accepted by the Catholic Church for some bullshit that she had in, in her family bloodline. So, she ended up being a Protestant. <laughs> like, the only church that kind of accepted her was a Protestant church. So she was basically, like, when she went to church, it was a Protestant one. So neither of them were Catholic, and my dad was not raised Catholic either. He was barely raised, raised Protestant because my mom, uh, his mom took him to church every once in a while. But even then, he's not religious, so... It's such a weird, like, thing. 
I, I guess that's the reason why I have such a weird view on religion. It's like my family history with religion is very particular. Like no one is particularly religious. We weren't raised religious. The most religious person would technically be the people on my mom's side on the family and my mom she went to church when she was young but she doesn't care and on my dad's side of the family is a lot of disinterest and kind of like burn like being burned out with the with the politics of the church in a way because of that kind of shit so like you talk to me about religion and i'm like I don't mind, but organized religious religions and cults, by all means, are the worst example of organized religions. Just give me, like, the, the heebie-jeebies. They're just straight up stealing from these suckers! Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> ah, so much deterrence. Glory be. Oh, that's my friends. I oh, don't worry, I'm gonna kick your ass in a second. Oh, sister. Here is that, was it? You appear somewhat pale. Are you feeling quite well? Hi. Yes, I'm fine. Honest for your kind concern, Guru. Yes, incidentally, Yuri-san, how much tolerance have you uh, tendered towards your enlightenment? I... I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. What? A false friend! Such a shameful lack of fate. <sighs> I beg for your forgiveness. Shame. But friends, do not chastise our sister Yuri-san. We all have good worldly excuses to weigh us down. Guru Menan Suzuki. <sighs> you must understand. Tiderance is, is an especially valued form of sure BB. If you alone are lacking in Rincho, sister Yuri-san, your Kulipas will be stunted. Oh no. What can I do? Ugh, <sighs> is a donation. Sure BB is some kind of meditation. And Kulipas is what now? God damn it, I can barely keep this gibberish straight. Don't worry, Majima, I already forgot where Kulipas was. We're in the same boat, you and I. Sister Yorison, I am happy to observe that you are blessed with divine physicality and transcendental beauty. Engaging in a special short PP with me can put things to right. It is exactly like every single fucking cult I ever listened the podcast on in Behind the Bastards. Jesus Christ. Okay, dude, what are you gonna do? Have an order to? Where are the 15 year olds? Like, Suzuki, be honest with me. Where the fuck are the. Where are the underage girls? Or boys? It could be both. It could be both. It could be both, to be fair. A special sure, PP? Girl, it is an honor. No, girl, no, no, mm, no. I'm not saying that you need to save that for your marriage, but no. The most sacred form of sure, PP. It bestows enormous clippers. We shall experience it together shortly. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Rapture awaits. I am disgusted with myself. I shall, girl. Don't worry, girl, I'll kick his ass. Captain friends, please continue with your sure, PP. Honest. I'm going to murder him. Where's Yuri Chan gone to? I know not the details, but it is amongst the most sacred of Shura Pipi. The disciple becomes a one body and soul with our girl. Yeah, that's fucking. He's gonna have very dubiously consensual sex with that woman. Well. You know, I'll be honest, considering everything that I've heard about calls that I mentioned before, at least she's not underage. That's the one good thing in this situation. Become as one, huh? It is a special show of people allowed only to women, and even among them, only to the chosen. If I were not a man, I wish I could partake in his grand glory. Look, if Suzuki was an awake bitch, you could participate in that shit. Though, I'll be honest, I'm gonna repeat myself. Considering what I know about cults, you probably would need to be underage. This bogus guru is not only symphony money, but he's got his pick of the girls. How do these pajama tweaks not get rise to his camp? My mom only wanted me to get a message to Yori-chan, so I'm technically done with what I promised to do. But now Yori-chan's in real danger, so screw it, I'm extending my membership. With violence. Your tour is over, Brother Majima. It is time for your test. 
my text. Oh, your damn horns, I ain't got time right now. Are you sure? By demonstrating you have learned the ways of the order, you may earn a blessing in person from the guru. Say what? You mean, I can meet the old guru if I do uh, good on your test? You're on then, bitch. Very well, it will be a simple oral exam. Really? Right here, right now, in front of all of these people? No, not like that. Oh, okay. A quiz, really, to determine how attentive you were during your tour. For sure. It's not like the person controlling me is gonna remember. The first question, then. In the order of Munanko have honors. What do we... Ex how... What do we do to express our gratitude? Uh... Well, the Munancho is the greeting, so it's the honors that is the, uh, the gratitude thing. Honors. Esplendid. Correct, Brother Majima. Where did you get the, um, the jingle? I don't know where about it. You have learned from our town, from a tour. Piece of cake. You'll have to do better than that. Your second question. What do we call the training we undergo to accumulate clipas? Oh, that's easier. You know, I don't know why, but my mind reads it with a single P. Like, I know that there's two P's in there, but I, I it's like I, I see one. I don't know why. It, I feel like the word should be longer. It's weird. Your pee, pee Wonderful. Correct. You have practiced proper share pee, pee even during your brief turn. Right. Very impressive. <laughs> For sure, I'm the share pee, pee king. The... Majima, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't lower yourself like that. The third question. Munancho is our greeting in the order of Munanko have honors. Please demonstrate it. Raise board, arms, high and shout, circle with the left hand and bring palms together. <laughs> Do the fucking hustle. Oh, I wish. No, it's the uh, circle with the hand. Uh. Go that CD. That's the only one that's kind of difficult, admittedly. Excellent! Truly a textbook example of Munancho. <laughs> eh, I got the moves. Yeah, you got a lot of moves, just wait until we do karaoke with you. Very well. Final question. Do you remember the name of our guru? Uh, that's Suzuki, yeah. But that's Suzuki, right? Bravo! Correct! Perhaps it was too easy a question. <laughs> you think? He's uh, larger than life. Right. Like his steak. What? Nothing. With that, we are done. Your test is done. Splendidly done, brother Majima. You scored a perfect 4 out of 4. It speaks to your attentiveness during your turn. Someone of your caliber might even qualify as a leadership candidate. <laughs> Manan's Majima has got a nice ring to it. Brother Majima, I can find no fault with you. You are worthy of receiving our Guru's benediction in person. You serve so much cunt, he might actually make an exception for you. Follow me, I will show you to our Guru's quarters. Hope you're each and still okay. Hope he hasn't done anything creepy yet. Guru Manan Suzuki, please excuse us. Really? In this office with no bed? Ah, is that our new friend candidate? What was it now? It's Brother Majima. Oh. Pleased to meet ya. <laughs> Brother Majima is a rare find, an extraordinary individual. Guru, he is most worthy of your divine benediction. I see. That is music to my ears. I have matters I must attend to, so let's not waste time. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. You're gonna die. There. Have my blessing. You got some crystal. <sighs> you call this stuff your blessing? Is there a problem? No, I suppose not. Guru, excuse me. Ah, uh, Yuri san. You have ready yourself for sure, pee pee. Yes, Guru, I have cleansed myself thoroughly. I am a vessel for your special share, Pee Pee. I hate every single part of this conversation. 
Excellent. Since I already performed your prediction, well, you should leave at once. I've done. Alright, out of the road. If I don't stop this now, this sure VP person's gonna have his way with Yuri chan. Should be with me instead? <laughs> Majima, no, you you have to save yourself for, for Kiryu. You haven't met yet, but you have to save yourself for Kiryu. I am Munan Chohept. I mean, at this point, she had a reaction with the mom thing. So, Yuri chan, you're being con. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Mom? Please, mom, my head, my head. You can't forget your mom, Yuri chan. You might have messed with your memory, but you got to remember the woman who raised you. Stop it, Majima san. Awakening the memories of friends is a sin beyond all sins. Shut your face, you damn phony. Yuri chan, snap out of it. I'll take you home to your mom. Well, what is mom? Uh. Oh, this is, it's my mother's amulet. Y Yuri chan do you remember now? Uh, I, I don't know. But why did I ever think I wanted to become one of, one with this shady whole hippie? He probably has like a dirty dick. You're thinking straight now at least. <laughs> this woman was ripened. Mind for the plucking. How dare you interfere? Ew. Mm -hmm. Guru Manan Suzuki! See? There's your snake oil shitting fraud showing its true colors. Guru Pajama Pass has been milking all of ya. Science! Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get screwed. Shut up. Okay, what's with that? Oh, really? You're doing that fighting style? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, I hate- oh, I hate your fight this- oh, oh, your fight this is one of the most annoying needs in it. Using uh, office supplies for murder. Yay, money! I can't believe you remember that in like 10 years. <clears throat> eh, such pain! How many broken bones do I have? Hopefully all of them. We heard terrible noises. Is everything alright? Friends, quickly! You must call me an ambulance! Ogura is gravely injured. We must perform the ritual of healing for him, everyone. Manan! Uh, no, you dipshits! I mean, your house are an I at me won't fix anything! Well, that's your own fault. Somebody help me! I was. like that too, wasn't I? Yuri chan, we should get you home. Right. Well, we saved one person from a terrible cult. Better than nothing. Yuri? Mom! Are you done with that crazy religion? Mm. Yes, I'm over it. Mom, I... I wanted to bring Dad back. <gasps> what? Ever since Dad died, you haven't stopped crying. But there was nothing I could do for you. 
That's when they told me the dead could be brought back to life. I just had to do these rituals and earn a few spirit points. I should have known how insane it was. I guess I just got caught up in that cult scam. Yeah, that's like, of reasons to join a cult. That's pretty bad, girl. So that's why. But I know now that if I follow those terrible people, I'll be leaving you all alone. And that's even worse. I'm so sorry. No, I should be the one saying sorry, Yuri. I didn't know how much anguish I was causing you. I'm so sorry. Oh. Thank you, Majima-san. I only asked you to deliver a message, but you got my daughter back. I can never thank you enough. <laughs> no problem at all. I'd say I got a pretty spiritual experience out of it too. Including kicking the shit out of a guy. Majima-san, please take this as our thanks. It seems hardly of any value for all that you did for us though. You got a traveler, Samuret. Oh, hey, the amulets are pretty good. Thanks, bitch. I mean, ma'am. All right, Yuri Chan, I'm gonna give this to you. You handed over the handmade amulet. It's, it's mom's. <laughs> the amulet totally work, you know? After all, you got some free pajamas out of it, Yuri Chan. You hold on that amulet and let it protect you. You and your mom. Keep that family together, will ya? Hi. I will. Majima-san. Hmm, what's up? Thank you. You saved us. It's all good. Majima cares so much. I love him. Now, I don't know how many uh, sub-stories are open for Majima at this point. Wait, like, that's the issue. I, I, I never checked... Um, I probably should go uh, get myself some food and also eat something because I am so weak right now. Um, oh! Hi! Hi, Bob. I miss you. Yes, I want to exchange my CP tank. If I have it. Yeah, I have it. Really? Kiryu and, and... Because I already bought... Go oh god, Kiryu and Majima had separate ones. Oh boy, that's... um. Yeah, well, I mean, I assume they had to an extent because they have different, like... Like, Kiryu has the, like, real estate stuff. Majima has the club shit. Uh, of course they would have different stuff. But I thought... Well, well, I How do I put this politely? I thought. I sincerely fucking thought. That they would have the adventure and battle stuff combined. Like, I, I thought that this would be combined. Like, that I wouldn't have to worry about it. And it would just be the business that I have to, like... I guess they win CP points separately. So it's fine. But I'm just like, really? Man, speak enough. Oh, game. Peace. There we go. And I haven't bought anything. Man, I need to get myself that shit. All oh, right, you give me stuff. Right. It's me, Bob Sonomiya Zero. Not to be confused with uh, Bob Kiwami or Bob Kiwami 2. Here's what I have for you items Hanya Tattoo Outfit, Gold Plate. Okay, yeah, I know that it's only an adventure mode because fuck me, that's why, but. Mad Dog of Shimano Pack. Slime gun, steel crowbar, hooker's belly warmer, stone of enduring, okay, and crafting support pack. Twenty-four hour per no, you mean that I can get I can get your I can get the Cinderella outfit, but I can't use it until. Mm -hmm. 
I can get the 24 hour Cinderella outfit and I can't wear it until adventure time. Fuck off. Yakuza Zero. A hundred pieces of iron, a hundred pieces of timber, fifty pieces of quality iron, and five scraps of bloody cloth. Three demon faces stone. Super spicy knife. And an antique gun. And then a sacrifice stone. God, I'm so angry. What do you mean that I can get the 24 hour Cinderella outfit and I can't wear it? It's like they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. N3B parka outfit, frozen sardines. Wait, parka outfit. What the fuck is that outfit? Uh, okay, more healing. A platinum plate. I'm gonna have to sell those, I feel. Yep. And the super rare crafting pack. New higher outfit. Gold ingot, silver ingot, dragon tear, dragon whisker, elf photon blade prototype, which is really a diamond plate. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Actually, uh, where would I need to go to... Um... Where is the V support? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's the same as before. It's been a while since that. I know that Sotenbori is the last place I was before, but... Oh, God damn it! I'm sorry. I was gonna sell my plates. Huh? Get real, you leech. Uh, what's what, what's all this then? A tax issue. Screw your little sales tax. Oh no! Majim is about to burst. The, well, about to burst. About to cause the burst of the Japanese economy bubble. You want us to pay a tax every time we buy something? You blood suckers! You'll bleed the whole country dry. I understand. Your anger is justified, but it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. I mean, he has a point. Huh? Get stuffed. You're gonna pay sales tax on a fancy suit that you're wearing, you damn bureaucrat? The tax is only made to keep the common people down. Yeah, you vulture. Ah, uh, the younger guy is sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue. This is my lucky day to run into us, a son of a bitch worker trying to spring the cell stocks on us all alone in a back alley, no less. Yeah, that's way too convenient. I, I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace, and I'm here to tell you we're fucking pissed. There's something very comical and sad about the fact that I am having to deal with this sub story today. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't usually say things like this. But, the general populace can go fuck itself. Yeah, why don't we give you a little taste of public opinion? Then you'll know what oppression first feels like. Public opinion can also go fuck itself. I don't think you know how tired I am of public opinion. Please, calm down. Violence isn't the answer. Don't do this. Oh, violence is the answer without magic. I don't worry about it. Uh-oh, this pot's about to boil over. Um, gentlemen. Please, calm down. Huh? Shut it, asshole. Good. Hey, fellas, let's turn it down. No sense ganging up on one guy. Have a little prior. What? You don't know who this cockroach is, do you? It's a pencil pushing dickwad that came up with a cell tax. Cell uh -huh. tax? What? Then you watch the news? It's a new tax. They're going to start charging next year. Every time you buy something, they're going to charge you three percent more as tax. Isn't that really three percent? Three percent. That's not even a high tax. Like, like I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I 3% is a lot of, like, expensive purchases, which is kind of the point, but 3% tax is not that bad. Like, I don't know how to tell you this, but, like, I have taxes that I have to pay that are basically, like, like, every time that I buy a game on Steam, 
on taxes, I pay half the price of the game on Steam. In total, that tax is basically over 50% of the total cost of the thing that I'm buying. 3% is a joke. You people are so fucking spoiled, I hope you die. I hate politics. What? That is some bullshit. And this guy is the douchebag? That's highway robbery. No, it's not. You neoliberal piece of shit. Majima, do you want me to slap you in the face? You cunt server. Ah. Whoa, I about lost you for a second there. Listen, guys, I totally understand why it pisses you off, but beating these guys to a pub isn't gonna make the sales tax go away, is it? Also, just wait until you have to pay 50% of something to be able to afford it. On tax, like, just wait until you have to pay a tax that is 50% of the total cost. Wait until then. It's... Huh? Who gives a shit? The government needs to know that the people think of their shit... What the people think of their shit policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action! Honey, I don't know how to tell you this, but direct action would usually involve burning a building. Direct action, more often than not, until it's the only last option that you have left, is not about hurting people, it's about hurting the things that people care about to teach them a personal lesson. It's going to the, uh, you know, offices of like a governmental issue, when no, uh, uh, governmental office when nobody's around and setting it on fire. It's about robbing a bank and then redistributing the money. Like... It's not about hurting people. God, didn't, like... You people need to listen to, like, the one uh, behind the bastard episode about the Tupamaros, which they did, which was... Honestly, it lacked some information, but it was pretty decent for, like, you know, made by a jank. By a fucking jank. Like, pretty good. And it's, it's worth mentioning that it's, like, a Christmas episode when they do an episode about a person who's not a bastard. So, it's a not-bastard-bastard bastard episode of We've Had the Bastards. So, you know, they were they were actually talking quite well about, like, the, the organization. God, I wish I could import some Tupamaros into the country. That would do me well. There's a story about them, like, stealing from, like, a, like a place and actually, like... Like, going to a place and stealing and shitting on the place. And then accidentally, like, stealing the tips. Like, on the process, they steal the tips from the people who work there. And then they go back with the tips and they return that money. Like, they return the money that belongs to those people working there. Because, like, they, they're not there to screw with, like, the working man. They're there to screw with their bosses. So, they fuck shit up. They're, they they accidentally screw with the, with the little people. And then they go back and it's like, oh, yeah, guys, uh, sorry about that. Here's your money. Here's your things. Uh, if you'll excuse me, we need to go. Like... That's direct action. Not this shit. Yeah, power to the people. Real people do not wear suits that expensive. Go fuck yourself. If you ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You wanna stick up for this mosquito? Then we'll show you the power of the masses too. Ah. Every day, I wish I was built like Majima so I could take bullets to the body and also Shit people up with a baseball bat. <sighs> so what you're really after? So what you're really after is blowing up steam. Sure, see how far that gets you with me. Prepare for the revolution, asshole. God, I can't wait to kill every single one of you. I hate every single one of you. Oh, r really? R I was about to use. Uh, I was about to use a heat mode.
Now I can go eat something and heal. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was out of line. It won't happen again. I'm going to kill all of you. <sighs> Public outrage sure fizzles fast. The second you kick their ass with... Oh, no. Thank you for stepping in. Those people were out for blood. I'm Tayo Matsusato. Uh, Tayo, as in the sun. I if I may, can I buy you a drink of thanks? <laughs> That's a good name. Uh, Majima, no need for any thanks, so. though. Yeah. Oh no, I absolutely insist. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you, though. You some kind of politician, big shot? Well, I don't have much in the way of rank or power, but I am in a position to help steal the country. I came to certain worry for a conference on taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. You drive in a tank called the government, even if you're careful, people are gonna be peasy when you steamroll them. We are trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You are gonna take some pride in that. Do you think so? I knew people would be unhappy with the new tax, but only on a logical level, when I saw how emotional they got about it. Well, it was daunting. If they find out that the sales tax is only the tip of the iceberg, and that there are more taxes on the way, I hate to think how the people will react. What? More taxes than those sales tax? Eh. Right, nothing sex in stone yet, but we're considering many more effective ways of generating revenue streams. In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. <sighs> That's so. Well, guess what everyone's making such good money these days, you can't fool the government for wanting to get their hands in the pie. <sighs> Yes, but as you've seen Phil's hands, we have to consider public opinion. I wonder if I can really come up with a tax policy that everybody could live with. Good luck with that. Even if they're throwing cash into the fireplace, nobody wants the government to hold out its hand. <sighs> yeah, that's where I'm stuck. I haven't found the rank balance and I'm a little lost at the moment. Well, I can't say I understand a lick of what you're trying to do. But take care of the country for us, alright? Do not cause the country to go to shit because an economic bubble pops and then we have no way of actually subsisting outside of it. Ten years later. Majima waking up in bed. Oh, fuck! Huh? Wait, Majima-san, can you help me just one, once more? Huh? You got another mob waiting to stir you up? Yeah. No, no, not that. I want to get your views on taxation. What? I know less than nothing of the in the subject of taxes. That's why you're perfect! You see, I just had this idea. Perhaps someone who is completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely new, uh, an entirely different perspective. This man's an idiot. Like, I say that as someone who is very stupid and very dumb and not very good at much. That's the dumbest fucking idea. Get like a good economist. M like, maybe a foreign economist. And by foreign, I don't mean like an American. I mean like, I don't know, a Latin American. Like, like get a des decent economist. And then put that person to work on your tax project and see how you like it. Like, like those people bring different perspectives. God, you're dumb. You think? Please, Majima-san, it's no exaggeration. The fate of this country rests on your shoulders. Will you please give me advice on taxation policy? Majima waking up ten years later with sweat all over his body, just being like, Oh god, I really fucked that up, huh? Fine. <sighs> okay, okay, you win. Let's tax some taxes. Thank you, your insight will be invaluable. But this is hardly the place for it. Can we go somewhere more appropriate? Sure, lead the way. It's not like I'm gonna regret this for the rest of my life, two seconds later. Now, you better keep in mind, I don't know the first thing about tax policy. Do not, don't, do not expect much from me. No, that's exactly why I ask you. I know you'll have some unique insights, not bound by typical conventions. So you're basically hoping to strike gold in a copper mine. Well, let's just make sure you're not completely in the dark with a basic question. Sure. Majima-san, do you know where the government collects taxes from the people? 
I mean, to provide public services. It's for providing public services, right? Ah, yes, that's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. Oh, don't worry, a lot of people don't know. I don't know how to tell you that a lot of people don't actually know that that's what taxes are for. Because as you said, Majima-san, taxes are collected mainly for providing public services. Education, medical care, the police, fire department, and so much more are paid for by taxes. They pay for services that the people need to survive, and then when they're gone, and people ask why the fuck, why the fuck that happened, they blame the government for it, even though they're the ones who are to blame for that, for putting a government that would take taxes away from that. God, I hate politics! Yeah, we gotta build roads and bridges and keep them in working order, right? But there's more to it than that. Yeah. Hi. Exactly. They also serve other purposes as it pertains to general wealth, but we don't need to go into that much detail. Like I said, there's a whole lot I don't know. And it's very dependent on country also. Oh, but aren't you interested in where your money goes? It's always good to know more about taxes. Yeah, I'm getting a proper school in here. Like, for example, here in Argentina, we pay uh, an amount of our taxes uh, that go to the Catholic Church because we are legally a Catholic country. Right? Because it's in the Constitution, we literally, like, technically um, have a kind of indentured servitude to the Catholic country, so we pay uh, a little bit of our taxes go to that. Which doesn't happen in countries that are not legally Catholic, for example. Like, it's very dependent on where you live, where, like, the minutiae where taxes go to, uh, actually, like, like, like what that, that actually involves. Okay, let's shift to the main theme. Majima-san, if you were in the position of collecting taxes from the people, what would you tax? Satu-san! <laughs> well... Yeah, I would... I mean, people, I, I would, I would, yeah, I would tax. Like, I don't know how, how I feel about taxing adult entertainment. I feel like there should be a small tax for that, but mostly you will tax tobacco. That's the most reasonable thing to tax. Why not charge, charge taxes on tobacco? Tobacco, you say? Interesting. Since the government monopoly, monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago, there actually has been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay a tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. And if you're gonna jack up taxes, it's the non-essential stuff that you start with. People might even be likely to understand a tax on smokes, right? Exactly. I see, a tobacco tax. Yeah, yeah I, a tax around 200 yen now. People bitch and moan, but I think they'll still fork over 300. Same with alcohol for the record, like there's a lot of taxes on that. But it makes sense, like, you would tox the thi you would tox the thing that is inherently non-essential first, like, ser and, like, luxury goods is what most people would call it, and then go from there. Because you want, you don't want to tax on things that are essential, like, you don't want to tax on, like, food, for example. Unless it is a luxury food that only people who have a lot of money can actually access to. It's like, yeah, that's how it works. I see. Interesting. At the 400 mark, though, I think I have a long, hard thing about each pack being worth it. <laughs> yes, I think at that point I'd consider cutting back on my intake, too. And what about 500 a pack? I probably quit. Cold turkey. You'd quit at 500, but if we raise it incrementally... Mm, he started muttering all of a sudden. What else do you think would have potential uh, would have potential for taxation? I think something that's closely tied to everyday living would have the best potential. A tax tied to everyday living, huh? That's uh, pretty skew pr pretty shrewd. <laughs> God, can you believe that there are some places that want to like tax shit like that? Gasoline, probably. Like, yeah, that's the most common thing to tax. How about jacking them the tax on gasoline? Ah, gasoline tax. Yeah. Why not? People with cars are obviously living it up here. Why not skim a little more off the top? You know, that would make sense because, like, my understanding is that Japan doesn't have a lot of cars per population. 
like there are some places where there's more cars per population usually because like there's not a lot of public transport or there's limited public transport or um or there's an area where you need to have a car because the distance are too long even for public transport so it would make sense to tax like gasoline out of all things in a place where you don't have a lot of cars per per person though the issue with taxing uh gas in my experience as a country that has like very expensive gas is that what tends to happen is that a lot of things run on gasoline it's not just cars is the public transport runs on gasoline most most public transport and if you're a country where like most of your uh goods are transported by uh, trucks rather than train, for example, which is what happens here, for a variety of reasons that also require a lot of lengthy history of Argentinian politics, which I'm not gonna get to, um, that also creates a problem with that. Like, it ends up having a long-term issue where, like, those people can basically paralyze the country which for the record has happened to us we have had a paralysis of the country because the truck drivers have gone on strike that has happened that shit has gone on here i don't think you understand how much understanding of this shit i have even if i'm very dumb because i do have a lot of understanding of this shit the price of gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum, so people have experienced price hikes before. They should be used to price cream, actually. There's also a provisional tariff on gas tax. Yeah, there's certainly room to raise taxes without too much notice. Oh. Hey, while the, while the, while the muttering. You're not feeling that one either? <laughs> oh no, far from it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I will definitely follow up on it. Oh, good to hear. Majima-san, anything else? Do you have anything else to say on the matter of taxation? Anything else about taxation? Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Well, I was thinking about that sales tax those good falls were all right up about. Mm -hmm. Yes. So next year, we gotta start paying 3% on top of everything we buy, right? Hey. Yes, that's how it works. Well, why stop at 3%? Sure, you can go in at that rate, but wouldn't you get more if you bump it up? Majima, no! No, Majima, no! Majima fucked up. Majima, Majima, you fucked up. Majima, no! No! Majima, no! No! Majima, no! Majima, no! Majima, you fucked up. Majima, you fucked up! That would be impossible. Majima-san, you saw what happened. Just a 3% tax caused so much outrage. People wanted to tear me apart. To charge more would probably end up in open revolt. Oh, I wish. Oh, honey, I wish. I wish taxes would end in open revolt more often. Yeah. No, no, Taiyo-chan. You ain't thinking. People are pissed because you sprung a new thing on them. And you had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. The long game. Familiarity is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about this shiny new tax, but once it becomes a part of, uh, becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing to bitch and moan about. I hate how he's fucking right. And that's when you start gradually turning the screws. Every time you hack it up a little, you get some more bubbly. But they won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time you introduce the tax. You wanna know why? Because they'll be used to getting screwed. I hate that he's fucking right. I fucking hate that Majima's fucking right. I hate it. Like, uh, he's right. He's absolutely fucking right, I hate it. It's something they already accepted it gets a little worse. It's just the facts of life doing what they do. I hate that he's fucking right. God, I wish I was drunk. <laughs> so if you wanna pull in the cash, you gotta have a plan to really have up that sales tax. Majima-san, I'm getting ghost bumps. And I think you're terrifying, actually. Are you even of this earth? <laughs> eh, you already wanna know? I, co I come from the server world. The what? Don't worry about it. Eh? 
No, no, not really. Then, if the sales tax were to be raised, how high do you think it should go? How high should it go, huh? You're starting at 3, right? Let me see here. 50%? No, oh. I can't believe Majima did taxes, it's all his fault. Look, I'm a person who believes in taxation. The worst part is this, I'm a person who believes in, like, I believe in taxation, I think taxes are good. I think that actually, like, I think that taxing people is good. They, like, there is a limit to how much you should tax people and how you should tax them depending on how much they're making, because... You know, like you're not gonna screw down, per like you shouldn't screw poorer people. But like, if you're gonna live in a in a capitalist society, which sadly we're obligated of, like we're obligated to do that. Yeah, taxation is fine. It's just, God, I hate it. Five. You know, I was gonna put eight. I was about to say, like, I was looking at those options that I was about to put eight. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest, I just... Eight is... Even eight doesn't sound that bad. Like, like there are taxes that is... Eight feels a lot. Eight feels... Like, there's a tax here that is 21% of the total cost of the item. For the record, like there's one tax here uh, that is 21% of the total cost of the item. Five is ridiculously little, and eight doesn't feel like a lot. Yeah, no, we have a tax. Like all of uh, all all items that you buy, there's a sales tax that is 25 21% of the item. So, like, if you tell me five percent, like five percent is not that bad. Eight also isn't that bad. Literally, I pay a tax on this, like, it's, it's like international, like, sales, like, the international sales tax is basically 75% of the total cost of the item, not counting, like, importing the item afterwards. And then, like, the Steam one is only shorter because, like, uh, digital stuff, like that or Netflix has a slightly less big tax at 50 per uh, at a 50 something percent I think it's 55 and there's a rate a general sec sales tax that is 21 percent of the total cost like five is not that much and eight is also not that much like it becomes a lot when you're when you're buying something expensive but in general it's not that bad like 88 is not that terrible in my experience. Like, I I'm a per like again, I'm a person who really believes in taxation. Like, if you're gonna have like a fucking democracy and you're gonna be obligated to do capitalism, taxation is inherently necessary. But also, like, it's the way taxation is done that's the problem. It's not taxation itself. Taxation is good. It is a way that people just use taxation to screw on poorer people. Like, what I'm saying is that we should be taxing the rich, if it's not obvious. Like, the rich should be paying more. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna say 8. Like, 8 is not that much. It's not even 10%. See ya. Say I run 8%. I see. 8%. Actually, that's a good number. It's neither too close nor too far from the double-digit 10 threshold. Exactly! There will be dissent among the people, but I imagine it could actually be workable. Yeah, like, it's not that much! Like, I've seen stuff with, like, more than 15% taxes. Like, there's a lot of really high taxes on, like, luxury... Like, okay, it's luxury goods, but, like... Like, usually... It really depends on what you're taxing, but... Yeah, but an 8% 8, 8 sales tax uh, bump a 100 thing to 108. That sure hurt my enthusiasm for buying pricey stuff. Maybe if we went with the initial 3 up to 5, waited a little longer, and they hacked it up to up the proposed 8, then eventually would... And now with a muttering in your very touch a chan Oh, sorry. I, I was lost in my thoughts. 
Majima-san, I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Yeah, I'm glad I was useful. Useful doesn't begin to describe it. Please take this as uh, just a token of my thanks. You got some primeval spirit stone. Okay, I better get going. I need to get back to the hotel and prepare my presentation for the tax conference tomorrow and then eventually ruin the country by popping over the bubble. At the boy, do your country proud, you hear? Hi. Will do, Majima-san. I'll be sure to work in your advice. See you. Yeah, never figured I'd be in a position to give a guy in the business of running our country advice. Let your chance seem to get a handle on how to go about jacking up taxes too? Good for him. Mm -hmm. Wait. Jacking up taxes? Did I just... If taxes go up, is it my fault? <laughs> nah, <laughs> no way. Majima waking up in the middle of the night, ten years later. Oh no. I caused the economic bubble to pop. Kiryu turning around here and his shit. Majima san, go back to sleep. But I'm having a moment. No, go back to sleep, god damn it. Wait, I need to enter and get myself some food. I'm weak. Yes, nine at the west one. I need to eat my food sis. Mm, let's see. God, I miss having the power of uh Ooh, the 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 barbel whack you. Um, I hate I, I miss having the power of just like getting uh experience posed by eating. I'm gonna order that. Can I order more? Oh, I can't order more than one thing. Oh. Honestly, yeah, I, I want the beef. Give me my wagyu. Delicious meat. Oh my! Right up my alley. Oh. He likes his beef. What's the food to your liking? Yeah, definitely. Thanks. By the way, uh, did someone recommend a restaurant to you? Huh? Um, nah, I was just passing by and thought I'd try it after coming in with like that politician and ruined the economic bubble in the process. <laughs> ah, now that's a surprise. Huh? What's so strange about that? It's just that we don't often get young customers like you, sir. I'm 30. <sighs> The young generation thought about the quick food craze, no? At least that's what they say on TV. Yeah, I mean fast food. I indulge sometimes. Didn't know it was some big fat, though. Young people are always wanting to try new things, and this fast food is so trendy nowadays. My son and all his college friends only eat at fast food places, not proper restaurants like this one. That's probably because it's expensive. He like beef. I mean, don't we all like a little beef in our lives? But you didn't come here to listen to an old man complain. I won't bore you with that anymore. Do you mind if I ask you, you uh, if I ask you your name? I'm Majima. Well, Majima-san, I hope you come back to visit us again. This could be the beginning of a friendship with the Komian chef. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gorge. You can check the status of this gorge at any time in the post menu completion list. Will you fancy with him and see what happens? Yeah, I'll be back. I have a when now. Hope you will dine with us again, sir. Thanks, ma'am. I can't believe Majima uh, ruined the economy. Love Mercury. Anyway, let's see. What else is around? Oh, game, please. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. There's, uh, there's something there in the... Uh, oh, right, um... Right, I forgot, I should, they, they should have my, uh... My bat. My bat! So Tamori looks so weird in low poly. Oh, hey, you guys want to fight me? Well, I say low poly, it's just less high poly than, uh, than he want me to, I'll be honest. Oh. Stop 
Please love me while I'm trying to kick you. I look silly when I do. Oh. oh, come on. I was trying to grip you. You guys are so rude. Anyway, what was I saying? Like, I'm not like I'm not insulting the way this game looks. It looks very good. But in comparison, it's like... Like, you want me to look so pretty? Like, the, the, like this looks so pulling. You want me to... What am I going to do? Oh, what to do? You! Who, me? Excuse me. Um. 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 Well, the thing is, you want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Yes, what I'm trying to say is. Um, 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 um yeah, hell yeah. Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. Can you... Please be my boyfriend? What? what Say what? Am I hearing you right? I, I said please be my boyfriend. Please? Please, please? What? Just like... Just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like, you, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. This is how I ask people out, I feel. Like, th this is, this is, a, this, this, this is like me. This, 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 she's just like, like me for real. B boyfriend. Right. Okay. Back it up a step, a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street, the man in be her man. Every girl I meet these days makes me understand him less and less. That's probably what I'm going to shut up with a man. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she's got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer. Like, don't even think you've won, little lady. Let's say that's friends. I think that's a proposal. I got no interest in women. I mean, let's start as friends. Why you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on, let's hear that extra syllable that says you're mine. What? You can't just expect a man to jump straight to the girlfriend's step. Gotta be more natural, you know? Or, I don't know, show your tits more. Oh, Danny, I bless all that few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. You could have started with that girl. Excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yes, you see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors at his arrange for, his arrange for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him. Kinda like the blade of a knife. Well, would you give him so many details? And why did I just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kinda made it up as I went. And that started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now, I fit the bill. So you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad? Whoa, you catch on so fast! That's pretty much it. If that finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else looks at anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Alright. It's in a pickle, alright. Who'd wanna marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their lives with him? I can think of a couple of people. Although, to be fair, most of those people would only do it if that man was rich. 
Fine, you painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! 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 I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Oh, my name is Kokoa. Please call me Koko chan Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's. I'm Goro Majima. I see. Then, Majima san, I will address you as Goro chan. Chan, we just went! It's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no, I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. Goro chan! Um, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going, like, right now. I'm getting exhausted already. And what's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where I will meet with my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't ya? Bing, bam, boom. Bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. Get inside my fucking gold drums, am. I was, I was just thinking of that Kesha song. Oh, no, that won't work at all. That won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. Damn. I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are. Here we are. Don't worry, Goro. Majima, you're all... You're, uh, I relate. I relate, Majima. I relate. It could be worse. Could be worse. Oh, this is the uh, restaurant that we go... Uh, with the a couple of times with the girl in uh, Kiwami to um, after uh, after we do stuff in the uh, in the hostess mini game. Like I like it's different because like the texturing and the models are a little less high like quality that they are in uh, in Kiwami to because you know the engine change. Hi, damn it, and curious singing in the background. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, but it's just, but like the setup is exactly like I, I kind of like that. I like that the setup like you can recognize everything basically, even if the quality of the uh, the texturing and everything is different. Like it just it, it just is style the exact same. It's similar enough. Like, the location is just all arranged the same. Like, I don't know, there's something to appreciate uh, uh, about that. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it. But what's the, what's all this about making him angry? Your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary though. If I make him angry, he's gonna kick my ass, this and him. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should. <sighs> Sorry. We didn't sleep very well last night. But underneath it all, he's as good a father as I could uh, as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, Forget this guy! I'll run your next day then. So let's avoid that. No problem, no. So let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make. Okay? Uh... What was all that at now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If you get curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? Hashtag 
Kingdom Hearts mem uh, reference. Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies. And you love the ominous rights I make. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it my best shot. There he is. Dad, over here. So, this is Coco Chan's dad. Unlike his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Coco Chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Coco's father. Pleased to meet you. I'm not even gonna get a name because I'm that little of a character. And this is the man I've seen, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. It's a better buckle down and get into this role properly. Not that different on the ground, right? The first impression key, what do I open with? Please let me miss a super every morning. Uh, I, I feel like the first one is good. Pleased to meet you, sir. Goro Majima. Majima kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh, no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Because that has stood out by me at every turn. Well, how cautious of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima kun. That's right, Dad. Gorichan's not like those stereotypical men, even though he dresses exactly like that and looks a little bit like a Yakuza. Good. The first impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. Oof. I beg your pardon. Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender waist. I can't believe that that's no way. No, no, no. The, the, okay, can it be can, can it be funny for a second that is canonically stated here, right here, right now, that Majima is slender waist because like that's not thing. That means that he has curves. The man has a waist. He's con he's he's the content server. Like it's canon. The man has like like a slim waist. Like Dorito body. You know what I mean? Like it kinda kills me though that's canon. <laughs> Sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura, not like a dagger's edge. I mean, the last part was like. The, the last part was that extra, but. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad, I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Oof! Huh? Overactive imagination? Then I don't bring things up that often, do I? Ah, they're laughing about it. Well, they do seem to be on good terms. And that's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Ah, oh, yes, Majima kun. Koko may have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh man, I think I mentioned that in the backstory she gave me. Oh yeah, the uh... <laughs> no, you can just say that you're a Yakuza. You can just be like, oh yeah, guess what, bitch? That would be funny. I'm a dentist. Oh uh, yes, yes, that's right. I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. You've not gone to a lot of dentists. I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad, you're being so rude to Gorachan. Yeah, I'm just glad I remember what Coco. Co 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 oh, <laughs> Would, is it supposed to be Coco? Told me in that hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Majima kun. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoa? Oh, well, that's, uh, I didn't ask you, I asked Majima-kun, but 
tell me, Majima kun. How do you two get to know each other? What the? He's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? I would explain how I supposedly met Coco chan in a way that would make him more suspicious. Coco chan ran into me while eating toast. <laughs> ah, yes. The classic, um. The classic anime uh, introduction of accidentally running into someone while being late for uh, your first day of high school. God, I, oh, that's too funny. I'm gonna assume it's the movie one, considering the backstory that we got. We happened to sit next to each other at a movie theater, that's who we met. At a movie? Come to think of it, God, I did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes, like I said, Cochran just happened to sing next to me, the, that flick was the real te tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief and the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Gora-chan. I can't believe you came up with such a... I, I mean, I remember it like it was 50 minutes ago. It was so romantic. Well, what a fortuitous meeting, then. I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in, play in any place that she shouldn't be. Of course not, my Gorachan is a proper a decent man that stabs people sometimes. What? Nothing? There. I move I wove in Kokochan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima kun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad! Why would you put it in him why did you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Gokua, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. God, I'm going to start crying. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, ah, uh, That's why I need to ask, Majima kun What about Kokoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul, here. Yes, I can't blame him, his other's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Goku chan I go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why why I find her so attractive. She's cute, she makes great omelet life, she's innocent and child. <laughs> yeah, no! The innocent and childlike thing. Like, it's cute. I, I feel like it's cute, but also it could come off pretty fucked up. Especially for a parent. She's cute, is way too, um, too clean. Like it's too like, like it's too clean in the sense of like, oh yeah, you only care about her looks. So when she grows old and ugly, quote unquote old and ugly, you won't care anymore. She's innocent and child, like it's like, oh, so you like that you can take advantage of her. Like that's the way that I would read it as a father, if 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 I was in that position, if I had little baby seals that were looking for other baby seals to mate. You know what I mean? So, Kiyo, what are you singing? I'm trying to recognize <laughs> Just kids me that they just play songs from the karaoke, and I'm just like, mm, what song is that? Wait, is that Black Amitai again? <sighs> anyway, uh, the omelette rice, maybe? I fell in love with how great the omelette rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majima kun, if that's not you've seen my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelette rice that you want, you could just easily marry a cook. Dad! Damn it! Tapping into Kukuchan's backstory backfire. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Oh, uh, will you do, do, do excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in. Well, wait a sec. With her bothering her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. <laughs> Awkward. Majima kun. Y yes. I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's life. Eh? Uh, her life? I got no idea what you mean. What life? <laughs> you can't stop pretending. I know this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? 
If you knew from the start what gave us away, I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father all these years, for nothing. Then why do you go along with this dumb charade for so long? The girl was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all these suitors that I arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You're so right through her. I lost my wife when Kokoa was still an infant. I raised her alone, without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well, so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been an overly protective father of... Uh, uh, been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's our own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Bah! It still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying onto someone who knew it from the time, from the start. But I gotta tell ya, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Koko-chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show ya that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah, pretty plain to see she's a source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. Oh, Sorry, I'm back! Hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you, did you even break the silence? Welcome back to Coco-chan. So, listen, your dad actually knew magic kun Yes. Because you've done well finding this man. I have nothing to worry about after all. Dad... Uh -huh. I know, right? Got a chance a super guy. So this means you'll stop trying to send me out, right? Yes, I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Aww. All's well that ends well. Oh, Chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Girl Chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> eh, glad to hear it. I need to give you this. Thank you. You got five pieces of fluorite. I don't even know how to craft things yet, and I have so many crafting items. Whatever the case. Oh, wait, no, I know how to craft things. They're for the, uh, for the weapon shop, aren't there? Whatever the case, I think I'm free from that hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yeah, well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Oh. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Okoa, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, oh okay. Um, was something wrong? Majima kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Uh, uh what's that? Majima kun, I'm glad that I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> eh, I was trying to put one past ya. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why. I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend! Excuse me. What did you just say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please! What in the fresh hell makes you think that that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think it is definitely interests our future to you. Whoa, slow down. I am having trouble believing my ears. You could start by just pretending that she's fine. Hey, if she won't take you, I will. What? 
Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, that was so pissed about. Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. I can't believe we almost got accosted by a daughter and her bisexual dad. Well, I can't believe it. It's just silly that it happened. The other side. Excuse me. I see this girl again. I wonder what she needs, though. Oh, there is. Check it out. A little kid. All by her lonesome. Guys, do not be creepy about the child. Only I get to be creepy about fictional children. It's my stream. That's why I get the right. Eh, she ain't old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, will ya? <sighs> no, fool! Grab the kid, shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Smart. Could be some nice cash in that. Let's do it. Also, not at all enough to hustle. You people are not professionals. Professionals wouldn't give a shit, which is what makes them terrible people. <sighs> uh, here we go. Time to protect the child. Got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Don't wanna. Huh? That little fucking brat. You're coming one way or the other. <sighs> yeah, no, leave me alone. See? Why I tell ya? <gasps> Who the hell are you? Her old man? Nobody special, just looking up for a stranger. Huh? Stranger, then mind your own business. Don't go getting any ideas or we'll make sure you regret it. Next time you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town, full of scumbags. Huh? Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. You were thinking about maybe selling the girl. Never mind, like, uh, you know, trying to take money out of her parents. Oh, stop doing that. Oh, what do you mean I can grab? You know, I thought that I could grab. Don't clap at me getting stabbed, girl, please. Wait, really? I didn't get to hit him with the... I took the gun to hit him with! Shame. Yeah, look where so we... Give me a break! Bye. It's dead. Good for nothing, losers. Thanks, sir. Sir, I'm only 24, you know. Wait, what do you mean you're 24? You're not 20... Majima, you're lying to me. You can't be 20... What do you mean you're 24? Isn't like... Aren't you like 10 years older than Kiryu? Wait. He's like 10 years older than Kiryu, isn't he? Oh my god, this is a flashback! This is a flashback, isn't it? Wait, no, that makes no sense. He's still supposed to be in the 80s. Wait, what's the timeline of events? And also, how old is Majima? Isn't he 10 years older than Kiryu? You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna actually go all this later. Like, I need to... I need to check this. Like, I actually really need to check this. Like, this is important right now. Okay, age. Okay. Canonically... Uh-huh. God, he has so many aliases. Um, yeah, where's the uh, age list? Okay. 
Okay, he's 24 in Yakuza 0, 41 in Yakuza Yakuza Kiwami, 42 in Kiwami 2, 42 to 44 in 3, 45 in 4, 48 in 5, 52 in 6, and 54 and 55 in Like a Dragon. And I'm guessing he's like maybe 57. Like he's gonna be 57 in uh, Infinite Money. Okay, so now let me check Kiryu because I I need I need to check this. Like because there's so, like I always thought that he was much older. Let's see, he's 20 in Yakuza Zero. So they only four year different. Are you fucking with me? What do you mean they have a four-year difference? That's the difference they have with my brother. What do you mean they have four years difference? I always thought Majima was so much older than Kiryu. God, he's so demacrated. Majima, you need to put on some cream. Like, you need to take care of those eye bags, girl. Oh, oh god, you're fucked. I love you, and you're serving so much cunt, but you're fucked. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, why don't you head on home? I cannot believe that Majima is 24. That man is not 24. He's at least 30. Do not lie to me, video game. Okay. Something wrong? You and your mom fighting? No. Then what's up? Come on, kid. The doll. Huh? The red chestnut, the squirrel. Chestnut, the squirrel? You mean the red squirrel prize in the Yuku Catcher? Uh. Yeah. You want that? Uh. Yeah. I'm sure you're that boy you want if you ask nice. She doesn't have a dad. Does she? What? Doesn't have a dad. Oh. Sorry, scam. It's okay, I'm fine. Still, no point in hanging no point hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can you? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's so cute, I just like to look at it. Yeah, you're a strange kid. Alright, I gotta get going. Okay. Friendship with the doll girl. Aw. You got to know the doll girl. Interact with her with greatly feel the friendship god. You can check the friends the start of uh, this course at any time in their post menus completion, please. Put your friends in and see what happens. A red chest of the squirrel though, huh? I have her standing out here all day, so I'll grab what if I so if I grab one may, maybe I'll give it to her. Might as well. Time to do mini games. And by that I'm mostly just mean UFO catchers. Where's the UFO catchers? There you are. The fuck are those? <laughs> Banchan! Banchan. Uh, I think I, uh, I think I didn't do it that well. God damn it! I need a banchan. I'll get the squirrel afterwards. But this is this is uh, this is a moment. I need I need my banchans. No, my banchan! Bunchan, Bunchan, Bunchan. Okay, that's silly. I'm trying to make the Bunchan's kiss. Anyway, I, I need Bunchan. Yes, yes, yes. Bunchan is mine! Bunchan! Yay! 
I love Panchan. I love him. And I'm gonna get the other color Banchan too. God, I miss the Jumbo Banchan from Kiwami 2. The one that was blue. God, I want that one too. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna get that particular Banchan that is like on the side. Oh, god damn it. No, I fucked up. I didn't. Mm, I, I touched too fast. Trying to grab the glass. God. FP6. Anyway, we're gonna get another Banchan. Banchan. Banchan will be mine. Yes. Yeah. No. Nah. Banchan. That Banchan was mine. I demand my Banchan. Banchan. Yes. 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 He belongs to me now. Yay! I got a new Banchan! He's white this time. He's not pink. I love Banchan! I love him. Oh, and I still have a... Well, I can grab one of those Banchan, I guess. Or I can try. That one chan looks particularly fat. And I love them when they're fat. Oh, I couldn't grab him. Well, that's fine. I mostly just wanted my bunchin. Okay, now that I have bunchin, I can grab the squirrel. There's a way, a, a way to fuck up the game so hard that I can get two prizes at the same time. Congratulations! And then I got a squirrel. Wasted money, technically, but I don't want any of the other ones. What the fuck are those? That's a mixed price. Oh, those are accidents? Oh, look at those! They're so cute! I love accidents. Oh, that's adorable. Anyway, child, go do your squirrel. Do not demand me for my bond chance. My bond chance are mine. I don't. I'm not gonna give you the bond chance. I will grab you new bond chance, but the bond chance belong to me. They're mine. What? You still staring at the chestnut squirrel doll? Huh? huh? Yeah, I am. I have one of those red chestnut squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Please give it to her. Bah, fine. Here. Behind her over the chestnut squirrel, Red. Wow, it's a red chestnut squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah, well, it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. I say ever. That's so. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Now, will you get on home? Yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. And then Majima gets accused of being a pedophile. Oh, hi, Artemis. I hope that everything is going well with you, Artemis. Oh, the little scum's a handful, but it feels nice to make her day like that. And then I get to my weapons. Guys, I came for uh, the pager message that you sent me. Ma'am? Is there something you need? We gotta keep match search results. Visiting a long, rundown shopping district near Sutton Bury, managed to sneak into the store despite suspicious looks from shoppers. 
incredible. Things get out, Quare! Negotiation, uh, par- what? Let's see. Negotiation partner's mom steps in. Success. Mission went reasonably well. Damn. Eat, eat item something, dagger, recept something, metal bar, and one steel. She has the Yakuza Zero going. Well, Maji Magis uh, did what was needed for the Japanese economy bubble to pop in a couple of years. We uh, fucked up a call leader, and I got to talk about like how I've been listening to a lot of episodes of Behind the Bastards, so there's that. And also I just got a couple of unchants. Here you can receive the equipment, item recipes, parts, or assets found by your agent. Equipment is immediately ready for use. Recipes enable you to craft equipment, provided you have all necessary parts and enough money to pay the fee. If the name of an item is not shown in the crafting menu, it means you have not yet discovered the parts or equipment required to make it. Dispatch agents to various locations to obtain many different types of parts. Once you obtain a new piece of equipment, it also becomes available for purchase in the shop. Crafting it will be cheaper than buying. The usual. I mean, yeah. Mm. Equipment, recipe, parts. Not bad, Feihu, not bad. I am not a professional agent, but next time we will call one of the agents on our in our, on, in our network. I will continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network to get better information on powerful equipment and acquire more resourceful agents. Oh, also, we had to uh, be the fake boyfriend of a random girl that stops us on the street. And then her dad figured out that we weren't her boyfriend. And then at the end, he begged us to be her boyfriend for realsies. And that if he uh, and that if she didn't take him, he will take us. And Magic Mai was just like. Like, like, Majima was just like, this is why I'm single. Any good quality of life stuff in this version? I mean, it's the only version that there is. Yakuza 0 was um, a prequel. Like, my understanding is that Yakuza 0 was basically uh, done... Was the last game done with, the, uh, with this engine, which is the same engine for Kiwami 1. Um... And then they started using the uh, Dragon Engine, which is the engine used for Kiwami 2 and uh, Like a Dragon. But uh, this is technically a prequel, so... Yeah, no, I believe this is the last game that was done uh, with, with the old engine for the Yakuza games. And then they moved to the Dragon Engine. So there's no quality of life because there's no remake or, remake or remaster of this game. Like, this is just how the game is. It works very much like Yakuza Kiwami 1. So, it's weird because I got used to Kiwami 2 and now I have to get used to Kiwami 1 again, in a way. So, that's, that's that. But otherwise, it's like, it's, it's fine. It's funny because you level up with money. So, as you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get it. Makes sense, I guess. If you got a one-of-a-kind weapon, you ain't gonna wanna sell it to some agent guy. In those cases, the agents can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate the item in my workshop. But you need parts for that, so get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them for free, you lucky man. You got lead ingots. You got quality iron. Level up with money, yeah! You get iron gears. You got timber. I'm yelling timber. You got driftwood. Curse handcuffs. What? You got flint stones. Oh my god. How many items are you gonna give me? You can find parts at regular shops too. You can already shop a good shop. You bring parts, we make equipment. You bring money. Too. Otherwise we know it. I can craft or sell you more of any equipment you already obtained in the past. Getting just a recipe without ever having the item made doesn't count though. Ah. Got it. I sent, I sent agents off to find recipes and parts for you to make me awesome weapons and protective gear. Sounds good. I got to start saving up so I can afford all that. Are uh, you and your self-esteem and your seals selfing? Uh, oh, Artemis. 
I would tell you to just look at international news and check how the elections went for uh, my country. And with that, I'll tell you everything, I feel. The answer is not good. To, to make it very short, not good. If you want to make it less short, you, sh you could check the news. And, and call me in the morning. <laughs> so, you know... As I say, the show must go on. Look, the way I see it, the show must go on. We have to keep going. And it'll be what it'll be. Another four years of bullshit. Well, bullshit. I have economic issues. I've never been in a country where a fascist literally took power. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start saving up so I can afford all that. Oh. Wait, a Fehu! X! Where X? Oh. oh. I'm sorry, I was so busy with the equipment search that I forgot all about shopping. Again. Yeah! Hi, Shin! You forgot. Hi, Shin. It, no, no, it's fine, don't worry about it. <sighs> and he forgot about the X. Uh, imagine, my son. It will take some time to make reversions for a more substantial equipment search. Oh. Sure, take your time. I'll find something to do and come back later. Good luck with the prep. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the least we talk about that, the better I feel. Not for anything. It's just like emotionally, I'm just. There's so much, and and I I I can't. I I have I have my limits. Even I have I wonder how Feihu and Longhua are doing. I'll drop in and see him to see him later. We just drop in, Majima. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, not really. I'm not sure how much stuff I can or can't do right now. I probably should check later. So, uh... Let's turn around, or, well, I guess I can go through, uh, I can cross the bridge. Let's go back to the apartment. Let's go back home. But yeah, things are not good, but I'm... It's the kind of like, oh, we're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. What's your pig right you mean going? I once again have many tabs open with many figs to catch up on. Uh, it's fine. Wait, I heard, I heard a shiny. Where's my shiny? I can hear, I can hear it. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. The cars are still weird. By the way, the cars are still weird. Um... Uh, what do you think about the Tachibana money scene? I think Tachibana is pretty gay. Oh god, another shiny? Where? Wait, no. Uh, I think that Tachibana needs to have more control of his boyfriend. And by his boyfriend, I mean Oda. And by Oda, I mean literally Tachibana's boyfriend. He needs to, he needs to control his boyfriend better. He's kind of an idiot. And also kind of a, an asshole. Oh, there it is. That's... Where, where is it? I can hear the shinies! Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, my fig writing has been going good. I have two figs that I'm currently, like, writing sort of at the same time. One that is much longer and then a shorter one. And, uh... And, uh, well, I'm working on that. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to start my next long work. It's just the fact that I want to finish those two first. And with the entire situation, it's been pretty, uh, pretty slow. How about that scene with the fake baby, am I right? Honestly, what's really killing... Wait, the fake baby? What scene with the fake baby? Now I don't know which scene you're talking about. Like, the one scene that I can think of, oh, well, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the light scene is hilarious, and even in context, I was kind of like, what? 
uh, I'm not sure what you mean about the Faye baby, I don't remember. What? Oh, wait, no, yeah, like the, um, that guy, the guy in the bar. No, yeah, yeah, I know. I was pretty disappointed. What really gets me, though, what really got me of this entire situation is still Sejima just going around with a gun in his mouth. Like, the Sejima with the gun scene, like, that was funny. That was funny. That was a scene that I was like, really? Seriously? That's what we're doing? But all that goes to this one dude, the dude does an axe uh, Yeah, no, no, I now I remember. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm ready to get my heart ripped to pieces. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, the way I see it, I have to distract me with something, and writing is the only thing I have. Okay, from another one of those, really, Majima, you live like this? Like, look at this man, he didn't, he doesn't even have a proper foot on! Disappointed. He really lives like this. Rest of the money, yes. Let me not to see Majima I poked out in the flashback. Oh god, it was so bad. Oh, with a knife too, like a large one. Ugh. Poor man. Poor baby girl. I'm ending Makoto Makimura. Step one's finding the guy. The guy was said to try hitting the telephone... The telephone clubs for girls in Makimura's ring. This is time to go make some calls. So one clip where you had to... I believe that's in 4? Like, is that in 4? Or oh, yeah, because of 5? Oh, okay, yeah, no, it was... Because that's Taijima that you're playing as, so... That has to be, um... It has to be later on in the, in the series. Or to the other side, really? Where exactly? Oh, there, okay. It's some of the Yakuza that you can fail the side quest and it's just done. Oof. That's a little painful. It's the kind of thing that you probably have to save scum a lot. Especially the the ramen mini game is just like, oh, that looks uh, very painful. Yeah. You got pocket tissues. We have tissues. Um, see here. Wait. Oh, there it is. I have never seen such a shitty situation where there was a man sleeping on it and tripping on <laughs> Oh god, I've seen- yeah, no, I know exactly which one you mean. I mean, it could be worse. Ramen almost- almost sounds nice. It doesn't happen much often in the current Yakuza games, I believe, but in 3 to 5 it wasn't uncommon. Ooh, I guess I know where I'm going to suffer the most. Look, how much time would you like today? Give me two hours. Thank you, sir. Please head down to the hall to room number five. He said Makoto Magimura is in college age girl. Hope, hope I can get lucky and find one. Do you encounter him, the one and only? You mean, um, in the street? No, but I saw him at the, um, when I was doing the, uh, scouting on the other club, on, um, Odyssey. I, I, I saw him there in the, uh, in the club. I haven't, I have yet to encounter him on the street. It's so strange to see Majima without the scruff. Same! Like, he's, he's staring so much cunt right now, like, it leech like, the introduction cutscene for his story, I was just like, oh god, it's the content server. I know people see, it's just three recommended to play on, as is, really? They recommend it on easy? Damn. Hello? Oh, hi. Hey there. Hey, your voice is pretty damn cute. What are you up to? N now, just... Later around. I'm jealous. You got the day off? The baby finally went down from his nap. I got my hands free. I fear I could I, I'd call in. Not what you were looking for. How's it with a kid? Uh, with a kid? That's off the mark. I guess it'd be too lucky to strike gold on the first call. 
Not because Yakuza 3 is hard, but because the damage you do to the bosses is legit a kind to cheap damage, and they block a ton too. Ooh! Yeah, that's painful. So it just becomes a drag on higher difficulties. Yeah, that, that would make sense. I'll remember that for when I finally get to uh, to that trilogy, to, to do 3 through 5. Ugh. It's gonna take a while. 90 minutes later. Moji moji. Ah, moji moji. Doomo konnichiwa.俺、ゴロを言うんやけど、そっちはうち、あっこ。あっこちゃんか。あ、何よ、元気なさそうやん。もっと楽しくおしゃべりしようや。ええ、せやけどめっちゃダセんやもん。久々に学校行ったけど、
no offense, I literally do not care. On the other hand, if they bring me more art for that concept related to the characters, that I will care about. And that will be important to me personally. ボーサイ。ちょ、ちょっと待ってくれ。何いいやな。俺実は不倫の牧村ほんまや、ほんま。わかった。せやったら今から岩尾橋に来て。あ、岩尾橋やな。黒尾さんはどんな格好してんの? Nice. Yes! I got a girl connected to Makimura! And I just gotta hope she actually shows. When I come across as a doctor. Yeah, that, that was my thought. Especially considering the backstory of like living in the streets of music for a couple of years. Like, I imagine he'd just pick a couple of instruments. Guitar is one of the easiest things to pick up by yourself, in my experience, so... Time to head there and find out, I guess. Yes! Time to meet my destiny! Oh, there he is. Hi. Yo. You're the manager of the Grand, aren't you? Majima Stan? Here we are. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. That's me. You were enjoying yourself at Odyssey last night, hmm? You s I saw you there. Yeah, I saw you there as well, my dude. I regret seeing you there. Ah. Surrounded by pretty girls all day, and you still go to a cabaret on your own, on your off time. You're a real poon hound, huh? Poon? Poon hound. That's the word I. Poon hound, okay. Look, that was a strictly business. <laughs> hey, no need to hide it. And now you're running for the telephone club first thing in the morning. You're, you're real hard up, aren't you? I guess that's how it must look. The sneakers are a crime story. <laughs> the sneakers are not helping the, the look. Like, if he was wearing pants, maybe, or he, if he wasn't wearing the sneakers, but... But wait, what's your story? That you've been everywhere have means you got business with all these establishments too, don't you? Mm. Uh, done it. Yeah, three rounds a day just is enough for me. So I went up just going from spot to spot most days. What, from massage panel to burn hut to who knows where? And shit, three times a day that's not enough? How much jeez you got in you? That's an actual question that Majima just asked to a man. How much cheese you got in you? <laughs> I get asked that a lot. My libido has a reputation to pull. But I feel like you and me are in the same boat because I am Mr. Libido. Yeah. Like hell we are. So you stopped me for a reason? Mm. Oh, just got the feeling we're birds of a feather. That's all. Though we could, uh, thought we could trade tips. I'm praying you mean info. Ah. Yeah, about where the cutest girls in town are. Who was good at what shop, that sort of thing. I'll pass. Thanks. I ain't that thirsty. 
Yeah, that's a real shame. Still, there's more, there's way more hotties around lately, huh? If some of them put out videos, I'd be there watching for sure. What kind of videos we talking here? You've been to the private video boot spot, right? I'm talking about the soft course they screen there. Ah. Every time I pass a cute girl on the street, I make a note to check whether she's put on she's put a video out. God damn, you're a certifiable perv! I'm a perv and I don't even think that I'm that much of a perv. What's wrong with you? Hey, I know you'd think the same thing if you saw some of these honeys. I'll let you know where to find some of my favorites. Let's have a look. Maybe if I feel like it. I'm pretty much always in one of the spots around town. Uh, around town. Come find me if you ever want some French recommendations. Yeah, okay. I'm supposed to meet Aqua on, on Iwao Bridge. Guess if I head there, she'll come find me. I'm not going to think ev ever again about Mr. Libido. I say, knowing that I will encounter Mr. Libido again at some point. And I will regret it. Well, that's the thing that happened. Time to find our mystery woman. This is where I'm supposed to meet Akko. I'll just have to wait and hope she finds me. Love that guy, Mr. Libido. Mr. Libido really is like a guy. Shit, her guard's up uh, sky high. She bails on me and I'm screwed. Gotta find some way to buy her eyes here. Uh, yeah, where is Dottenbori? Like, the other city in Kiwami too. Inspired by real life Dottenbori. Did you do the hustle? Oh, wait, no. I don't think I have done the hustle. <laughs> I, um... Wait, wait. Uh, in, in which, like... What do you mean by doing the hustle? Because if you mean like, did I do the cult, like, the, uh, the cult substory and chose the hustle option? No. But I did do the cult mini, uh, like, substory and kick some ass there. I got that get off back with her mom. It was good. Just <laughs> しもた。やっぱり来ない変装しても分かる子には分かってしまうか。自分の反差も顔が憎いわ。ああ、ええて、ええて。サインやったら何ぼでも書いてあるから、みんなには内緒にしといてな。うちの考えすぎか。来ない
But do you think of a magic substance? <laughs> these guys some sunglasses. <laughs> Honestly, I was dying when that the disguise that he put on. Like the first scene that he uses it when he goes to the with uh, to Odyssey to uh, check out on that other hostess. I was just losing my mind because I was like, oh, he's gonna put on a disguise, and it's like takes out the eye patch, puts some glasses, and I'm like, Majima, please, Ma Majima, please. Please, Majima. Majima, don't do this. Please. Please, why are you like this? <laughs> like, it's so silly. Like, come on, dude. I can see that you're closing your eye. I can see that you don't have one of your eyes. Please. Uh, I figured I probably wouldn't get this info for free, but... Well, gotta do what you gotta do. I'll pay whatever it takes. Uh, you know what? I just realized we've been here for like an hour and 30 minutes and I haven't taken my intermission. It's giving me a chance. Let's let's take an intermission for a second. I'm I'll uh, I need to stretch and I need to get some water. So uh, I'll come back in a second. We continue with uh, this entire mess once I'm back. See you in a sec.
Oh wait, the am back. So we for the wait. Sorry if I become an egg in the process. I uh, I have coffee and coffee means that I become an egg. And now, oh wait, it's the other side. Oh wait, it's the other side. The other side. Oh. Wait, not, not, not this. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. I had a shiny. Where's the sh shiny? Sh sh oh, it's on the other side. Mm, it's on the other side. My shiny. My shinies. My, my shiny. Shiny. My, my, my shiny. My, sh my shiny. My, 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 my shiny. My shiny. My shiny. Oh, she's kind of cute. Sorry, I, I just I had a shiny that I need to check. Look, ma'am, I, I, this is this is silly that I have to take you to a sushi. Look, I, I have to do this for you, but like, come on, I'm I'm gonna pay you for a lot of sushi, so chill. Coffee. <laughs> ほろさん、ほまへんの一応仕事中やからな。今はやめとこ。それより赤子ちゃんの話聞かせてくれ。Although, to be fair, the hostesses have better, like, textures for their dresses. ほとんど男の人にご飯とかおごってもらうだけやし。<laughs> If you didn't dress silly, you were rich apparently in the age. I mean, that explains everyone's terrible fashion sense, including Kiryu's, though that's mostly Nishiki's fault. Mm, delicious cup. あ、ちゃうって。そういうつもりとちゃうね。ただ、俺はそういう噂を耳にしたもんやったから。ほんまにまあ、それが懸命やね。うちになんかあったら、無事で済まへんから。いや。あ、それ一体どういう? <laughs> I mean, I feel like people don't want me to go like, for like 20 minutes just because I'm drinking coffee. To see if I can like do something about that. Maybe um, maybe program the stuff so uh, so it stops tracking my face so uh, tightly while I'm drinking. It got better taste taste us in the 90s. I don't know if I would say that, but it is less silly. Okay, don't get ahead of yourself, Goro. She'll be more eager to talk once she's gorgeous so than Boris finest. And then we wasted a lot of money. 20 grand? That's not even that bad. I have 7 million. Yes, yes. That wasn't that bad, money-wise. さて、腹ごしらえはすんだな。そしたらさっきの話の続きを。あ、うちあそこ行きたい。今度はどこや。ゲーセン。ゲーセンって。ゲームセンターのことか。不良のたまり場やないか。ま、家で女の行きそうな
ゲームセンターにぬいぐるみどういうこっちゃ今、we just got like the claw machines。like I just grabbed two bad chance。ほな、ゲームセンターに行くか。ほな、行こうか。ええー。Like I just grabbed two banchans. Majima, what do you mean you don't know how claw machines work? I say a、uh, high tech land in the 80s. Banchans! I love them. UFO catcher? Majima, we already used those. Is he? God, he's so silly. こんなんが一回百円やと。あ、ほらし。どうせそう簡単には取れへんようになっとるんやろ。普通に見せてこうた方が。The accidents are also very cute. 何言うてんのや。よそで売ってないわ。Also the、uh, Shinny, you see that they make in real life bunchans. They they made in real life bunchan dolls. I love the bunchan dolls. I want them for real. うちこういうの苦手やねん。あ？ Also, love how the arcade games at the time fit with the time period, like Ridge Racer. Yeah! Space h a r r y Yeah, no, they're all like stuff that is.、Uh, yeah, it would fit in the 80s. I, saw, I, I love that. Like, I saw the picture of the, of the Bonchans the other day.、Um, and I was just like, oh my god, they did it for real. I love that they did the three bunchans. They did the pink, the white, and the、uh, blue bunchan. And I'm just like, aww, bunchan. I love bunchan. I'm gonna get another one. I already got both of the bunchans here for the record. Oh, I move a little too far. Oh no, the bunch of us are gonna kiss! What if we were two bunch of us and we kiss and we were both men? Actually, aren't all bunch of us technically male? I just realized that. Aren't all、like, oh, bunch of us male? The other ones that I got much easier than this. <laughs> I thought they were genderless. I mean, isn't the backstory of the Bonchans that they're、uh, salary workers? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I see the bigger ones. Uh, Now I don't remember. Like, I remember, like, there's a description of the b o n c h a n d o l I think, in Kiwami 2, when you get them, that they're all salarymen. Like, like, it, like, it's a bear, and it's also a salaryman, like a salary bird. I, I thought that what was the entire thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's try to get one on the back. Like, I think that was the description. Oh, come on! Like, you know what? Let me look it up. I look it up. Well, while we're doing this, I might as well just look it up. Beep, 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 beep. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Banchan. <laughs> no, actually. I'm actually completely incorrect. Banchan is canonically female. Banchan is canonically female. I am completely wrong. Like the description for Bonchan uses she. Bonchan is actually a girl. I don't know what she wears that hat and the tie, but good for her. 
Lesbian Bon Chan, I believe it. Oh, come on! Nah, that was my mistake. I should have been paying a lot of attention. God damn it, Crane Game. Like, I already grabbed two Bon Chans, but. I do wonder, is there like blue Bon Chans for Kiryu rather than for, for Majima? Or did they add the but Really? I was that far off? Okay. Sure. Or did they add like the bunch and only Kiwami too, like the blue one? I would need to check. Yes! Another bunch and for me! I swear to god if you fall now, I'm gonna lose my mind. Thank you. Congratulations! Another bunch and これが欲しかったんやろ。めっちゃ嬉しい。ゴロさん、ありがとう。ま、ざっとこんなもんや。あ、それで巻村のことなんやけど。え、この絵のところで立ち話するとこがええわ。あるわ、マン。ま、それも
because of that one sub story where where uh, there's the guy with his daughter and he calls him slender waist holy that was dancing I never seen move that moves that sharp wonder if I could pull some of that off yeah. looks like my win this bridge is was and forever remains property of Areshi crew oh. fine keep it for now but this ain't over I'm gonna up my game and be back for blood. Legit power of dancing to kick ass. Mm -hmm. Seems the boy in the red frock one. Quite a sight, eh? An intriguing way of establishing pecking order. Yeah, not bad as a street performance as street performances go. Playing koi majima. How do you mean? Watching them dance sparks something inside you. Did it not? The look in your eyes was hungry. Raven is seven. Yeah. And you got eyes like an armhog. Yeah, all right. Still don't know if I could actually apply it though. Mm. That's marvelous news. Another thing to look forward to in our in our sparing. Sorry, but I'm kind of in the middle of something here. That you're raring to go with this. I guess that you're raring to go with this. But it's gonna take me a while, yeah. But you guys tec it's technically smaller and multiple in comparison to Kiryu. The Kiryu's in his 20s is, is baby shape in comparison to all the Kiryu who's beefed out like a dragon. Yeah, to be fair, like, it's it's just like, it's funny because like, the description that the dude does that his daughter gives to him is like a tall but slender waisted man. So I'm guessing the implication here from what I've seen is that Majima is taller than Kiryu. But he's also tinier, like body-wise. Like he's, like he's a lot more slender. Um, and, and spe like specifically the fact that he says slender waisted, like, like he's more. He has he has more curves. Like here is more square. I guess would be the implication here in comparison. Well, Majima may be more Dorito shaped because he has a small waist. Like, that's the sensation that it gives me from that description. I was just laughing my ass because it's like, oh, hey, canonically cute. Canonically, Majima is just... Canonically, Majima has, like, a, a like a gravel waist. Okay, good for him. <laughs> ho, ho. Out on one of these dates with you, with a young lass, are you? You're a formidable man in many arenas, it seems. Yeah, what? No, it ain't like that. You use a box and Majima is hourglass. Exactly! That's how they do it. And then, ironically, Majima is also taller. Only this in my friend. But I have Honor Avenue. Ashitaba Park. The park? Okay, I'll drop by when I get some time. And I shall be waiting. I will have my training to occupy me until then. Well. Bye! See you in the other games as well. The crowd's clearing out here. Let's also do the disco before something else comes up. Disco time! Oof. We're gonna do the Friday night. I don't think we're actually gonna exactly do the Friday night specifically. But we're gonna do something. And there we go. Wait, really? The, the, I'm just... But, like, I'm just, I, I'm just trying to observe the, the a gold like you, you see shit the golden damn. But look at that shit. I love bonking people with wheels in the street. I love bonking people in general. It's fun. Hello, sir. This could take saloon, man. What a name. The VIP room entrance fee is three thirty thousand. Here you go, and there we go, my money. Thank you, sir. Please enjoy your time at Maharaja. Maharaja, 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 Maharaja. Okay, we're gonna do the Friday night. <laughs> He's having a good time. You tell of Tari de Kitat the Shan, I yeronga. Conaina Togoa, Motto all in zoo the Sampa get a part to Tanashimonia, eh? Sonna Tomoda Joram. 
あ、ブラウスオブミフォリオ。夜の街で妙な奴に悪さされんようにしきってるっちゅうことか。せやけど、中には危ない客もおるやろが。せやから、その間の人に会った時はすぐに誠さんのポケベルに連絡入れんねん。そしたらすぐに飛んできてくれは
Like that should always kill me. I'm glad that I can use it against my enemies now. Thanks. ざっとこんなもんや。せやけど Oh, hey, the massage place. So, 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 よ、うちも今頃どうなってたかわからへんもん。そら、さすがに褒めすぎとちゃうか。女に優しゅうするのも案外したごこらってのことかもしれへんやないか。そんなん絶対ないって。蒼天堀にはまことさんに救われたってこうめっ
What do you thought about the chapter 3 opening? The chapter 3 opening was great. I, I love the chapter 3 opening. I need to, um, I actually did, um, I just, last night I made a, a channel to put, um, to put the bots, since I know that they're not gonna stay for much longer, and I'm gonna at least put this, the, uh, the games that I do, that I play story-wise, um, like, like, you know, the Yakuza games and, like, other long games like that, put it there. Honestly, I was gonna start moving, like, the Yakuza stuff that I already have there, but for some reason, Twitch is not connecting to YouTube right now. Which is gonna be funny having this conversation when this goes to YouTube eventually. So I'm gonna have to maybe like download the bots and then send it. And that's gonna take a while because it's like 10 gigabytes per bot. So you know, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, but I did that. So if you wanna check my reaction to the goddamn like chapter 3 opening. You you probably can get it once I do like the world is, is still there, but I'm probably like gonna try to download that as soon as possible. So yeah, I just I, I made a YouTube channel for the bots, at least the important ones. I feel like I'm gonna keep like mostly the stuff that is like from the Monday, Thursday, and uh, Saturday uh, streams, if not everything, but probably mostly just that. Yeah, the chapter 3 opening was really great. That's the point. Um, and Sagawa, like, so the thing with Sagawa is that I don't trust anyone related to Shimano. Like, I don't trust anyone related to Shimano. Ever. At all. So... I see that this guy is Shimano's, like, uh, brother or whatever, and I'm just like, mm, no, I don't trust like that. I don't trust like that. I, I do not twist like that. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, yeah, no, I already read that. The hell are you talking, man? It was like a ball from the blue to me. A shout-out from God. You gotta join my crew. We need you. Crew? Yeah, our Reshi crew. If you joined up, we'd be kings of Sotenbori, no question. Arishi's crew is the name. Uh, Arishi is the crew's name. And Arishi is my name. So, yeah. Welcome aboard, dog. <sighs> You nuts! Why should I waste my time playing around with you and your friends? Go find somebody else. Oh, yeah. I ain't playing, fool! Me and my crew. We in this for real. I'm throwing down every day. We're gonna take over this town, then Japan, then the world, feel me? Yeah, that's great. And just how you plan on taking over the world by dancing on the side of the damn street. Hey, lots of folk come through Sotenbori. Entertainment Big Week's gonna be in the mix, yeah? You get one of those cats attention, who even knows? I suppose it's not impossible. There are plenty of dudes like that coming through my club every night. Yeah. Way I see it, if I want the big boys to take notice, I gotta stand up more than anybody else in this town. Do that, and getting my ass on TV is totally possible. Huh, that's some plan. And I figure into and I figure into all that how exactly. Oh, yeah. It hit me while I was watching you battle, dog. We take your ill moves and pop up the volume a bit and we'll be crushing every other crew in Osaka. I already got ideas for a whole bunch of sick, mo sick new moves. You get those under your belt, you'll be unstoppable. Uh, I can't say I care much about dancing, but I'm pretty curious about where I can take this fighting style. And hey, you don't gotta give me an answer right now. Think on it. We practice in the alley behind Shirofuku West. You decide you're in, you come see us. Cool. Oh. Alright, sure. Cho Fuku Cho West, right? Maybe I'll drop by. Don't go getting your hops up, though. Name's Majima, by the way. Yeah. Majima-san, tight. We'll be waiting for you. You gotta come by sometime. Bye, kid. Well, that was a... You're obviously drunk. Oh hey guys, that I can be the crap out of. This really is broken. Like this is just me, like they can't even touch me like that.
Like, I have three untouchable bonus! That's still broken! Also, we get some most of the same heat moves too. Oh man, I have to start putting money in that, don't I? I mean, I know that I needed to, but like... Money... Oh. Money... Power search... Phantom turn! A highly evasive spinning move that can be performed when you have your guard up. Okay? Rising Rotten Leash, a spinning leg attack after being knocked to the ground. Oh, that's when you get up and, like, do the turny, the turn around. Power search 2... White Tiger Speed. The heat catch will, ri will rise when you perform a jumping flourish near an enemy. Interesting. Break roll. Perform an evasive move and attack after the enemy breaks through your guard. Post soul. Heat the Gishan will rise when you deeply evade an enemy attack. God, there's so much stuff for this. Time to waste all of my money. All of it. It's okay, the second that I open the um the, the whole thing with uh with the hostess minigame I'm gonna be making so much cash it doesn't matter. I, I know that's how it's gonna be. I made most of my money back in Kiwami 2 with the hostess minigame, it's totally gonna be fine. <laughs> like it's gonna be exactly the same. No. Ah, clear path! Well, no. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Good. Hey, be careful! You can't barrel through a crowd like that. I, I'm so sorry. I'm in a hurry. It's fine. What's a big rush? I have to go to the convenience store. The one over there. Uh -huh. You got real problems. You need to hit a convenience store that bad. Hey. Yes, I have to get some lip balm right away. Okay. Seriously? Yeah, that's what I'm asking as a person who actually li needs lip balm regularly. And shake it out too, oof. Yes, lip balm. I'm in a hurry, so I have to run. Bye. Okay. Good. Hey, what's up? Are you in some sort of pain? Oh, yeah, my feet have been sore since this morning. Then why don't just slow down a bit and go easy on yourself? Huh. Because if I don't run, I won't make it in time. Huh? This is getting real cryptid. What do you mean? I'm sorry, I really have to get going. Bye. And then he went. <sighs> Must be a real emergency to be on that kind of tear for lip balm. Maybe his lips are like sandpaper or something. Oh well, we'll figure that out later. Oh wait, ground side. Wait. Shiny. Shiny! Come on, shiny. Come on, shiny. Mad man, shiny. Oh, you're also cute. It's very uncomfortable because I, I still don't like the whole, uh, you know, idol thing, but. They're cute. You, not so much. You, I don't like that much. Uh, nope, this way. And oh, he's the old place. Uh, oh. <laughs> right when I step on a bunch of girls. The Gushi Koi Khan, here it is. Akuru Makimura is in here. Want him and I'm back in the family. You got this. No reason to hesitate. I've been playing loud dog this whole time for a chance like this. Yeah, you have. In going through that humiliation again, this time I'm gonna do it. Ready to bust in? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Probably. All right, here we go. Time for a boss fight.
Magic Mask Cute Cute Little Dog Gear. The classic. Well, that was a disappointment. No murdering today, I guess. Sure. It'd be like that. What a shame. Majima, please put the, the knife back. Look, maybe he's... Oh, it's you. あの、お客様ですか? <laughs> He's cutting it real close with that shit. Watch <laughs> please! Why are you doing that? Why are you like that? She does. I'm surprised she doesn't notice. Like that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> どこにいたんですか。俺は今店に入ってきたとこや。いきなりあんたがすごい勢いで突進してきたもんやから余計きれんかったんや。ビビったのは俺の方やで。でも今日のようやくはもう入っていないはずです。そうなんか。え、実は
And that's how Majima got a free massage. It's just like me for real. Oh. Yeah, that's そうなんですか。同業の方たくさんいらっしゃいますよ。やっぱり大変なお仕事みたいですね。この前もグランドって有名なお店の人が来て支配人がむちゃくちゃばかりするから毎日すごい大変だって言ってました。うん。誰へ
あんなに強く始発してるのにもみ返しが起こることが全然ないってすっごく評判なんですよゴッドハンドっちゅうやつかどうしてもお店に来られないって人のために出張訪問まですることもありますしいつもお客さんの健康を第一に考えてるんです生態師としてもそうですけど人間としてとっても尊敬できる人ですよそれに以前私も店長に救われたし救われた<笑>とにかく店長は全然怖くないですよ人は見た目によらないってことで私見たことないですけど I mean, they're going to technically a place in the United States I'm not surprised Yes, she hair He's back. Sounds like Makoto Makimura saved this girl too, same as Ako. Yes, I'm just gonna have to meet this fella in person and see for myself. I keep quiet, you just keep asking questions. Okay, yeah. Ask about her. Hold on, Nei chan no hanashi, kikashite kure ya. No ya, shumi toka arun ka? So desu ne. Tenji no hongo o yondari mo shimasu kedo. ラジオを聞く方が好きかなラジオか最近はテレビの方がええって思ってたけど目見えへん人でも楽しめるっちゅうんはラジオのええところやな<笑>でも一方的に話を聞くよりこうしてお客さんと直接お話をする方が好きなんです<笑>だから仕事が趣味みたいなものかもしれません人と話すのが好き言うんやったらあんたホステスなんか向いとるんとちゃうか私がですかさすがにそれはあいやいやああいう店に来る男っちゅうのは誰かに自分の話がしたいんやせやからホステスっちゅうのは何よりもまず聞き上手でなきゃあかんそういうものなんですかそんなもんやその点姉ちゃんはいい線いっとると思うでしかし仕事が好きかそら羨ましいのお仕事好きじゃないんですかうんまあ上司がちょっとなそうなんですかじゃあきっと私は上司に恵まれてるんですね店長に出会えて私本当に助かったんです店長のお店だったから今までやってこれたけど他のお店だったらとても He seems very really wonderful towards him Just who is this guy? I hope we eventually get to Brazil Honestly, it would make sense to go to Brazil if only because like I think I mentioned this before Brazil has the biggest amount of Japanese people living out of Japan Like it is the second country with the most Japanese population in the world out if you don't count Japan, which is the first. So, like, it would make sense that they would eventually go to Brazil. Like, if they're gonna be visiting places with a lot of Japanese people. <laughs> yeah, Brazil, um, the story of what happened is actually pretty interesting. Like, after World War II, there were a lot of people who basically were left with nothing in Japan. Like, absolutely nothing, because, you know, Japan kind of got extremely fucked up during the war. So, the Japanese government didn't want to take care of those people, so instead of taking care of those people, the majority of them were, like, low-skill work, quote-unquote low-skill worker. Like, a lot of people that just have menial jobs, quote-unquote, that just couldn't recover from, like, the entire situation with the war and everything. What Japan did, because Japan had a shitty government uh was send those people to brazil like they literally were just like okay we'll send you to a different country with better opportunities like it's more complicated than that like there's, there's a lot more nuance to it but they literally just kicked us decent amount of the population to brazil so most japanese communities outside of japan settled down in brazil and uh, i actually know a couple of people who are uh, Japanese descendants that are Brazilian too. 
So there's a large amount of, Bras- of of Japanese population in Brazil, and in fact, a lot of Japanese products that are not made in Japan are made in Brazil. Like the Japanese products that we get here, it's much cheaper to import them from Brazil since it's closer than to import them from Japan. So we usually get them from Brazil. Like the mi- the miso pass that I get um, every once in a while. I get it. It's a Brazilian brand because it's much cheaper than the Japanese options. Also, one of the reasons why Rio is a common name for uh, Japanese people to consider there is a prison in called Rio. I'm not. I I don't know about that one. Considering that that I'm, I'm pretty sure that Rio means something in Japanese, but like it would make sense. Like it. it it's mostly the reason why there's a lot of like Latin American stuff that is very popular in Japan, like tango, which is a Argentinian thing for the record, it's an Argentinian export, to be fair. Like tango music, that's extremely popular in Japan, for some reason. But like there's a lot of stuff that is inherently like Latin American that became very popular in in Japan, partially because, well, there's a lot of Japanese expats that are in Brazil, and there's a lot of Brazilian people with a lot of Japanese blood in them. Like, they're they're not that insular as a community from my understanding, but they're relatively insular, so some Japanese people who live in Brazil go back and forth, um, you know, the visit family that they still have there, and a lot of that things has just, like, a lot of those things have been just kind of exported in the process. It is kind of funny considered when you think about it. It is, kind of. But yeah, that's that's mostly the reason, really. But yeah, that's a lot of Japanese people in uh, in Brazil. And nobody's gonna comment on the that. Well, she didn't look at it. Well, she can't look at it. She's blind, but. God, magic my so stupid. You fall asleep, silly. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, Portuguese and Spanish uh, interacting with Japan and when Japan was suddenly open up for trade. Mostly the Portuguese, to be fair. Um, you're getting a nap, silly. Uh-oh. Okay. Give me, give me a second because I need to explain this. Mostly Japan was... Uh, Japan's main contact with the Western world, quote-unquote, was the Dutch, for the record. Like, um, where was it that it was the port? Hir- Hiroshima? I think it was Hiroshima, maybe, that it was the port. Um, Japan was a close-up country, and when there was one port in Japan that was open for trade, which I, which I think it was in Hiroshima. Um... I think, maybe, I, I forget. Point is, their main, uh, imp- like, the main country with which they dealt with was the Dutch. To the point that there was a point in Japanese history where, like, West and, like, the Western world and the Dutch was the same thing to them. They actually thought that, um, the Dutch was, like, the, like, like, it was kind of, like, a bigger deal than it was. It was one of the first non, like, it, like it was one of the first languages that they learned that it wasn't like you know from the islands in in and of themselves like you know um in fact when japan ended up opening up they actually tended to confuse like the united states with the uh, british because it's like oh they speak the same language they're the same country like, it was a thing like that i think um 
But yeah, they had some contact with the Portuguese and a little bit with the Spaniards at the time. But mostly what they got from, like, where they they got most of their knowledge of Western, like, stuff very, very early at the beginning, when they first started doing trade, that was mainly the Dutch. It, it was mostly just them. Why? I don't know. I don't know why the Dutch were... Like, the Dutch maybe are weeaboos. Are the Dutch weeaboos? That's a good question. I would need to find out. But mostly it was the Dutch. Um, with, yeah, Portugal and, and, and uh, Spain being there. And then you had, like, you know, the United States and, and the British, like, insisting for Japan to open up their, uh, their borders for trade, which Japan didn't want to do. And that brought up a bunch of other different issues. But yeah, mainly it was the Dutch, interestingly enough. Mostly, and this is the important part, the reason why the Dutch got scot free with this is because the Dutch maybe didn't come to proselytize. Because most of the places that, you know, came in to try and do business, they were also bringing Catholicism. That was part of the reason why the Japanese weren't willing to trade with them, and why they were so closed off. Part of the problem was that they were bringing people to proselytize, which they weren't vibing with that, considering you have a god emperor in your country. Kind of not vibing with the whole Catholicism thing. So the Dutch weren't proselytizing, which is one of the reasons why they could, like, trade more freely. Like, as long as you weren't bringing that up, they were kind of chill a lot. That was the main issue back in the day, My, back in those days, really far in the past. So yeah, I, I just feel that I need to 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 to, um, to clean that up because I don't know why the Dutch specifically wanted to trade with the Japanese, but I do know that specifically the Japanese had an issue with proselytism and like religious, the religious kind. So they basically just tried to. Like, they didn't do a lot of trading with countries that have specifically brought, like, priests and shit to convert people. So, they they basically tried to have minimum contact with that. So, the Dutch were one of the couple of countries that weren't willing to just, like, push on that shit. Which is why Japan kind of was like, okay, cool, we'll do business with you, it's fine. And it was only one port. Like, the rest of the country was closed. There was one singular port where they could come in from another country and trade. And I'm I'm pretty sure it's Hiroshima, I think. I would need to recheck, but I think it was Hiroshima the port. Um but yeah that was basically like like why it happened. But it, it like there's a lot of like I'm I'm simplifying the entire thing because it's a lot more complex than that, but like that was one of the main reasons, if not one of the most important the, the most important reason for that to happen. あ、あ、お。これはお邪魔やったかな。この方店長をご指名でいらっしゃったんですよ。いい。お仕事が大変みたいで体中カチカチで。Okay, just saying, um, don't thank me, um, if, if anything, like, I, I know a lot of stuff, but I'm hardly an expert, so I would recommend just looking for some books about Japanese history, I feel like that would do a better job. I, uh, I've read a lot of stuff, so I, 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 um, I can relay some information, but if I may say so, do yourself, uh, do yourself a favor if you're interested. Do a couple of uh, history readings because it's a very like like the entire thing of like how Japan just closed off borders and then starts trading with like one port with like two countries at most and mostly just the Dutch is very interesting. I'm just not a history teacher, so I can just relay the things that I that I read and try to simplify it because there's a lot of details that I also don't remember because it's been a while. So uh, I would I would look for some some books on that if I were you if if you're very interested on that. Oopsie. 
そないから大胆めつける仕事っちゅうも興味ありますな。OK。あれ店長、ハリーですかそれ。はあ。弟子に任せっきりやったら、新規のお客さんに失礼やしな。オプションで。ハリーとこが思ってな。え、本当ですか？お、oh, girl、お客さんラッキーですよ。店長、常連さん以外ハリ治療やってくれないんです。店長のハリ級だったらお客さん残りも良くなるかもしれない。うん？あれ、何の音だろう。Guys, can you ask the young lady to leave, please? 大事なもん忘れた。じゃあ、お前タバコ買ってこいや。私ハリやるとき、わしがタバコで急に火つけるんは知っとるやろあ、早くおてきて。<笑>でも、私だと時間かかりますよ。大丈夫や。それまでゆっくり、このお客さんのツボ、チェックせなあかんからな。Like I, like I get it, but also like please ask the lady to leave. Like, like, like just tell her to leave、oh, first. Okay, bye. Take care, girl. Look, she's blind. It's okay. Hi, oh, dost to tara do ya. Katame no anja. Ah, come on, look, I'll hear my cyclop. Ko you joke your monare kuchu agiga. Wakimura Makoto say you. What? So na my dogo de kita ya. どこもかしこもあるかいテレクラで引っ掛けた女つこうて派手なリサーチかましとりゃ何も売れるわほういろいろ調べてきたようやなあみんだファクトシロスのワスハプニンメクシフィルセーファーズイブンユーヒスノーガナゲトラマタイスオーミノテプロマガナンカシランガまたの店で気抜いとるようなどしろの殺し相手ならなおさらえん悪いことは言わんこのままおとなしゅう帰れば見逃してるでふん、引く気はないかならゴッドアンドの大サービスや行くでーいおーうりゃマティブバーンおおっとファニワンノーマイナイフ !It was my special knife for special occasions! おお
ただの鉄砲玉やと思っとったが一味ちゃうな何もやお前<笑>こっちのセリフやなっっ Oh, wait, no. Jamasunde. Yes. Hm. Yeah, per chink and a chimbira guy. Chanto Nakamayon dotta chuagaga. No. Omano Nakam to chunk. Nayato. Torricomichus Mahena. Antaga tenchono, Li Wenhayana. Makimura Magota do where? Huh? リアと何言うてんねんわしが牧村誠やああ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>何しょうもない嘘ついとんねん今までそれで乗り切ってきたんかもしれんがうちらには通用せんで<笑>何やとあせやったら Oh, yeah, we got it. Hi, Tencho. Got to give us the o. Hi, girl. What is Tencho? Uh oh. Makoto. Nayato? Oh, a timing. Yeah. Okay, Ri. Makimura, Makoto. Okay, son, this car. さっさと連れてけや逃げろマコトノーナッシマンおお店長どうしたんです店長まマコトえから逃げろなんなの店長店長どこマキムロこの子が邪魔すんなおさんおらおさっとすんな <laughs> Mighty but for the love of God do something. <laughs> And Magima is completely useless. <laughs> あの女は俺の獲物やお前らの勝手にされたら困んねえそらこっちのセリフやボケ前あんたも死んどき But I'm doing things You can't kill me when I'm having a moment Yeah, he had like two bullet wounds. Ayo. Ayo, he can't go. Ah, now he's super dead. He got it right on the stomach. He's dead. Sorry, massive man. You kill the massive man. No. そのまま蒼天堀に流したら覚悟できとんな兄ちゃんおっやったれ What if I don't want to be ended? Have you considered that? Really? Oh, and I don't have much HP. Oh, 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 game. Thank you. Almost. Almost. Alright, I only have the, the stuff that I got from the. Mm, well, that's a problem. That's fine. It's for the. <laughs> and why we don't know. I mean. Considering that you have the only aliens wanting to kill this girl, I'm going to assume that uh, there's a lot of people trying to kill her. Yeah. 
the clutch menuing. <laughs> Sometimes you have to clutch menuing. I'm good at that, if nothing else. Crap! Which way does guys take the girl? That way. There! I don't know what their end game is, but getting her away from them is priority one. You guys aren't going anywhere. Find the kidnap girl! Gotta go fast! Let her go, assholes! I know what I'm gonna say. Obviously. I'm just gonna assume that a lot of people want her dead. Stop calling me a one-eyed freak. That makes it sound like I'm a dick. Oh, you piece of- no. How dare you? She's just standing there. You rude ass piece of shit. Look <laughs> at that synchronized running. It's very impressive. <laughs> そのそのあ、兄貴。くそ、どないなとんねん。兄貴、大丈夫でか。おい。女はまだ近くにおるはずや。すぐに探すで。応援呼ばけ。お、おい。厄介なことになったで。Card battle, oh boy. If your person spot you and you're caught, you'll have to fight to protect Makoto. Approach the groups of people standing in the streets and press E to blend in and hide yourselves. Press you can hide our mark in your map with the uh, little uh, blue circle thingy mark. When fighting off pursuers, keeping Makoto safe should be your top priority. If they grab hold of her and try to run her off, she'll spend her energy to resist. If Makoto loses all her energy, it's game over. Move through the streets carefully and stay hidden. Still more of them back at the clinic. Best bet to get her up, uh, best bets to get her up north to Sotembori Street without these bastards seeing her. Take the girl and one. Just in case. Okay, they're on the. Oh, oh, come on, come on! Really, Imi. Well, no, I'll. They're coming this way, so I'd rather. I'd rather just wait a minute while those guys move to see where they move to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're moving back. Come on, girl. We have to. We have to move. Okay. Have you done Nishitani yet? No, no, Nishitani hasn't appeared once. There's been no shadow of Nishitani yet. Could go this way, and this should be safe. Oh, hey! Shiny! Sorry, I just I see a shiny and I got that. It's what you do when you see a shiny, you got that. Why 
Don't worry, we get. I keep you safe. Mazar, Enchi, Oma, Kanto. Oi, Abunai, Kara, Ushiro, Ni, Ore. Okay, perfect. I have a chance. Tenjo, I'm busy, Nano. Nah, I'm just gonna be a simple. Nishitani's VA is SMB for, Ka for Kagura or Basbu. My understanding was that Nishitani's VA is also the same guy that does the voice for the Joker in all of the uh, stuff that needs. Um, like, um, voice work that involves the Joker. Like, Nishitani's VA is literally the Joker. Which makes it funnier that he's the way he is, from my understanding, or the way he is. I believe he was uh, for Mark Hamill's the Joker specifically. Uh, he was a voice actor. Oh, he's also dead now. Oopsie! Well, people die. You know how it is. People die while they're killed or something. Imagine up for the low god run. Ah, oh, this is starting to get a little. Um... He also did R R in Final Fantasy Fifteen. Can we? Did you go yet? Oh, re oh, oh, god damn it! I got found. Uh, it was bound to happen eventually. Oh yeah, no, no, I know, it's just like, it's just mostly the fact that, oh boy, this is gonna... This is gonna be a little difficult. Honestly, if anything, this is easier than the, cu the, the couple of, like, uh, missions where I have to, um... Really? Here? Right now you're giving me a shine. I'll check the shiny later. God damn it, game! You know that I'm weak to shinies. Okay, that's another shiny. That makes me feel a little bit. I remember one person who played Yakuza 2 and did my human neck snap and said, God wish that was me! Oh god, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side! Oh, I got... Oh my god, turn around! Oh, I hate that. I mean, to be fair, I do wish that was me. That's a normal feeling, I feel. Like, you know, getting your neck snapped by Majima feels like a normal thing to feel. No, you fucking don't. Do not touch that girl. I swear to God, if you touch that woman, you're fucking dead. Stop that. Stop that now. Oh God, really? Another one? But I'm always nervous with GGs. It's like, oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have time. I'm not gonna do it. 
Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. And we should be saved. There shouldn't be anyone anymore. Funny Nicky D is funny because he's like, Majima just gave up halfway through. Damn. Oh god, you people. Can you stop with that? Come on, get closer so I can actually kill you. Good. Can't kill men in this fucking city anymore. They're fine safe. Mother, not to talk in here, Naga. Mother, Mother, still him and I did. Oh god, I can't pass through that. Oh. Annoying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, really? Another group? Oh, you're difficult. Break down through your problems. I wish it would, it would be easier to break down through my problems. But alas, I'm not good at breakdancing. Oh, 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 Majima, please. Oh, no, really? Oh, you, oh, no, re Oh, God fucking damn it. Oh. Okay, not gonna lie. I like the breaker style, but it's, n it's really not fast enough. Like, it's too combo heavy. It's it's hilariously to combo heavy when when I can't be doing that. Like I can't I can't be using the breaker the entire time. It's not gonna work out. Or rather, I I, I, I can use it just not that far, not that much. Okay, now I think it's justified. That is funny, funny enough a bit faster when it comes to going through one place to another. Yeah, that makes it. Oh god, really? Guys! I'm trying to cross the bridge! I'm trying to cross the bridge. You guys are not helping. Look, guys, I'm just trying to do my job. Like... Like, I'm just trying to cross the bridge! Where in the map? Okay, that's the next section. Like, just rude. Oh god, really? I'm trying to cross the bridge. The enemy's there. I cross the bridge. The enemy's there. Hey, I'm trying to do my job. Don't worry about it, girl. You're gonna be safe on the stairs. Oh man, my shinies. I'm gonna have to abandon them for now.
あとはここをつけば奴らを振り切れるはずや<笑>手こずらせてくれたな兄さんまことちゃん渡してもらおうか no <笑>くそしつこいやっちゃのお前はここでじっとしとけ<笑>はいまことちゃん先逃がしてもええでどうせ一人やったら遠くまで行かれすぐに追いつけるんやからな。You, you do the heat action with the bad when the goons have synchronized running. <laughs> ああ、フリトマコドジャンスター。The heat action. I haven't used the beat the, the,、um, the bad style much. Like, like, I haven't been using that much. Honestly. I almost forgot. But you know what? Good moment to do it. This is also good for a bunch of enemies. Okay, can you stop trying to follow me while I try to protect this young blind woman? You pieces of shit. Yes. I think it's like it's different to crowd control. Like, Brain Dancing is very good if you have a lot of space to work with, and maybe a bigger crowd. If it's a smaller crowd and not that much space, I feel like the,、uh, the slugger is better. Yeah, no, that, yeah, yeah. Lar for larger crowds and maybe a bigger space breaker does a lot more damage because it's very difficult to,、uh, to block. It's annoying. It was annoying to fight against and it's annoying to for the enemy, so. ここまで来たら大丈夫やろお前大丈夫かうん、明日からレイラボおい、何をマジマジ、It's not a dog It's not humping you, be nice For real, relatable, yeah. Oh, I wish that were me. More, I wish that were me. More, I w i I'm pretty sure the, the devil is dead, just saying. He's so full of the fifis. I 
he could do it right now. He could do the thing. He could do the thing. But will he do the thing? We don't know! Tee hee. Thanks for the 3 million yen, by the way. And I do that 50 million yen. Nice! And Trubaro. Completion bonus. And now I have 13 million yen. Worth 7 times. A million eight hundred uh, eight, eight, eight hundred thirty-five thousand Prime Minister's monthly salary. Now to full of fifis. Oh, come on. Let's give some, su some suspense to the people. Climax Battles item open. And now, previously in the Tale of Cast Mercurial. You'll find that. Kiryu決死の覚悟で組を抜ける。その僅かな土地をめぐる極道たちの熾烈な争奪戦にある一人の男がキリュウを巻き込んでいく。ゲイ。立花不動産社長、立花鉄。ゲイ。その背後に隠された風間の意志がキリュウの運命を大きく変え
Why is it in Kiyo being a cause of many the other time? You be like that. あ、もうだって言う立花不動産の幹部が俺の教育係にいてな。そいつとこの後キサールプレゼンティスポンチョリアンディスキュリストリンシリアルディスイズアイビケムアイビケムザドラゴンマジマストリンシリアルスポンジ
それ絶対やめとけ選ぶんじゃないかとは思ってたけどよなんでダメなんだよこれじゃあスーツの自己主張が激しすぎてアクセサリーや髪型、靴、腕時計全身コーディネートしないと一番。I mean, even if it means poor, it's funny. じゃなくて手間も必要だ。おめえみてえに無頓着なやつだと服に着られるのがオチだ。It's funny that that means that it's funny to me. He is kind of like a bimbo too, to be fair. それじゃあこれはどうだ ？Oh, do you know that there's a brand of bread called bimbo? 意外と派手に見えると思うぞ。Because there is, there is a bread brand called bimbo. 白か。さっきの柄物に比べりゃマシな方だろう。I don't know how many is in other countries, but it is here. これ、試着してみろよ。And now finally Q you get his、uh, makeover. Makeover, 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 he looks so dumb! It's, it's the shirt. I can deal with the suit, not so much the shirt. Like, like it's a shirt. Yeah, yeah, but Nani Kitamo Marde Katagini Miene to Moteo. Dude, come on. The shirt is bad. The student can almost forgive it. Waka Terute, yeah, demo yo. Oh, my God, oh, yoga, or a conofka kinita. He'll take it. Oh, you know, that? Damn. So, what? So, what? So, what? So, what? So, what? So, だからおら、お前のおごりのつもりだったよ。なんだそれ。いつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもいつもい
I'm suffering right now. Um, so basically tomorrow I'm not streaming. I'll see if I make a recovery stream on Wednesday, depending on how that goes. And if I do get the job, I'll start streaming at night. So I'll, um, I'll be changing the schedule. Uh, but that's, I'll, I'll, t I'll say more about it probably on, on Wednesday, depending on how things shake up. Uh, but anyway, again, thank you for being here. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Uh, have a good week and I'll be seeing you on Wednesday, probably. Uh, and if not on Thursday for more, uh, well, if it's on Thursday, we're going to do more Jack as a zero. Interview goes good. Oh, thank you so much. I I hope so too. Really, I don't have a lot of hope considering everything, but yeah. Well, again, thanks and um, have a good day. Bye, everyone.